Hopefully we don't have any tech problems. <laughs> I just tried to open OBS and then my camera wasn't working and then I tried to fix it and then it froze and then it crashed. So hopefully that was just like a, a fluke thing and it doesn't happen again. <laughs> hopefully that was just a weird one-off occurrence. But if we have any weird OBS freezing crashing issues, um, frankly, I might cry. So I'm not, I'm not cut out to deal with tech problems right now. <laughs> Uh, but it should be fine. It should be fine. We're gonna try and build a penthouse actually, which maybe I'm not cut out for today either. I haven't built a penthouse in The Sims in so long. I just have memories of like the last time I did a penthouse getting so irritated at the camera jumping up and down that I was like, I'm never doing this again. Um, and now I want to do it again. So we'll see. <laughs> but I just, I have this memory. Wait, let me, let me see if I can get the game capture fixed, but I had this memory of, of last doing the penthouse and then like the camera just like moving me all over the place. I don't think it's gonna do it to me right now though. I think we should be okay. Um, but I was, I just got so irritated that I like said, I, I like vowed to never ever build a penthouse ever again. <laughs> um, but this time I wanna try cause it's been a long time since I last built a penthouse and I kind of like the vibes up here. I think it would be kind of fun. So I don't know, I'm gonna give it a shot. That's the plan. So, <laughs> Elsa, M, and Diana, and everybody, thank you for the subs and stuff, by the way. Happy Monday, Samantha, it's good to see you. Oh, I didn't fix my bot command because I was so distracted by my OBS glitching. So let me see if I can change that really fast and then we can, um, we can set everything up, shall we? Um, we're, I don't know. We're building a penthouse in San Myshuno. Simsy panic, I like that emote, best emote. Okay, I should be ready to go. Also, probably should put slow mode back on. <laughs> um, maybe, I just tried to type slow off three. No, slow off is the command to turn slow mode off. Um, but anyway. <laughs> anyway, we should be good to go. Why isn't Snap blocking the screen? I know she's not up here right now. She'll probably come up soon though. I wouldn't be surprised if she did. <laughs> Uh, Acer and Grumpy and Kat and Cecilia, Lydia and Nin and Hannah and Jan and Amy and Elsa and everybody, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, okay. Well, I'm very excited to build, honestly. I don't really know, um, I guess I don't really know what sort of vibe I'm going for. I almost feel like I should kind of try to make a similar style to this building. Like, it should probably be, like, similar vibes to the building that exists here already. But I also don't really know, like, I don't know, I haven't built a penthouse in so long. So I, I'm just kind of curious to see how we can pull this off, I guess. Um, but anyway, <laughs> perhaps industrial then? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be more of an industrial sort of vibe, but we'll see what it ends up looking like. Um, Peters and Frickle and Melly and Glacier and Ox and Boots and Froggy, thank you for the soaps and stuff. Um, Okay, anyway. <laughs> industrial loft kit. Oh, we could use some of the industrial loft kit. That could be kind of fun. We could try and keep it like limited pack, like maybe the industrial loft kit, city living obviously, because if it doesn't have city living, you can't do much. <laughs> and then the base game or something. Look up I Amsterdam penthouse, okay. I'm looking it up. Let's see it. Whoa. Interesting. I've not really spent a lot of time thinking about like um, real life penthouses. This thing's wild. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna build this in the Sims chat, but <laughs> that's quite cool looking. Um, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about like um, real life penthouses. So how are penthouses different from apartments in The Sims? Okay, that's a good question. So apartments in The Sims are apartments. They're like stuck in four walls. Um, penthouses are a lot on top of a building. So this is like actually a lot. This one's kind of weird because it's like a different shape. It's not like quite 30 by 20, it's a little bit smaller. Um, so this this is just like a lot on the roof of this building and I can, I can build on it, on the roof. Um, so there's a little bit more freedom with the penthouse to like kind of build your own vibe. Um, you have to include still in it, you need to have an elevator uh, to like get up to the top because it's on the roof. <laughs> 
Um, and a, a couple things like that, which is kind of cool. But basically it's like on top of a building. It's a lot on the very top of a building. Um, there's a couple, oh, I can't leave because I don't have the build requirements. Um, but uh, basically, <laughs> there's a couple penthouses in San Myshuno. Um, there's one that has like a, a lounge thing on top. You might remember this. Um, it's basically just a lot on, on the top. Um, yeah, this is in San Myshuno, Johnny. Mm -hmm. This is one, the, the penthouse that I was on just then had originally like a house on it. But this is also like, this lot is also a penthouse. You might be familiar with this one. Um, stuff like that, so. Um, yeah, that lot that we were just on is next to the art gallery place, so, um, anyway. Gaten and Georgia and Kat and Eleanor and, and, uh, Seven and Austin, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, anyway, this is where, where I was, this Fountain View penthouse. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> we're gonna figure this out. I don't know what I'm gonna build just yet. I've never really built, um, like I said, many penthouses, so. I'm not like 100% sure what I want it to look like. I do think I want it to be maybe like a little bit more industrial. I don't know. Um, if I Google like, let me see if I can find a reference photo of a real life house. I don't really want it to be, actually, do you know what? The vibes of this kind of thing, this is a real house. This is also a garage, which <laughs> isn't quite what we're gonna be going for. But like the vibes of this, like the cool black metal um, with some brick, it, it's kind of like what this looks like. And I like the solid glass. Obviously there won't be a car in ours because ours is on the roof. So <laughs> it'll be a little bit different. <laughs> um, but anyway, I didn't look up industrial penthouse. I guess maybe I could have industrial penthouse. These are interiors. I need exteriors. I know how to make the interior. I'm just not sure how to make the outside look good. I'm gonna wing it. Pretend it's a fancy elevator garage. You know what? I've, I've heard of things like that in real life. Like fancy uh, apartments that have like a garage because there's a car elevator in it. I find that very confusing. My little brain like really can't comprehend the existence of that. <laughs> Um, Nico, the elevator doesn't work work. The elevator just works like the ones in the other apartments work. Um, how your sim, like, uses it, but they just teleport. Um, yeah, I've seen it. Re Let me look up car elevator. I'll see if I can find a picture for you. Um, this is not helpful. They exist, though. Even, this one's not very tall. Architectural Digest, inside $88 million Bel Air mansion with hidden car elevator. What on earth? <laughs> These people are from like a different world than us, I swear. Look at that. These are only two story, but. I don't know. That's not for me. <laughs> we don't need that. <laughs> what on earth? Um, it's kind of ugly. Oh yeah, I agree that that's kind of ugly. I'm with you. I fully agree with you. <laughs> See them in New York? They're scary? Yeah, that's- I've- I've seen, um, you all know I spend a lot of time looking up, like, real estate, right? Um, I've seen some, like, really fancy places in New York City that have car elevators like that. Obviously not, like, the kind of place a normal person would live in, <laughs> but I spend a lot of time looking up, like, you know, magic mansions or, you know, magic million dollar New York City apartments. Um, Good job with the penthouse so far. Oh yeah, thanks, Milkshake. I've I've uh, made a lot of progress. It's going really well so far. <laughs> Frankie, Kate, Sirius, and Acacia, and Ghibli, and Faith, and Colleen, and Arthur, and Life, and Simmer, and Scrab, and Alex, and Amber, and Pancake, and everybody. Thank you for the subs. All right, Misty. Thank you for the resub too. It looks like a superhero hideout. A kind of, kinda, yeah. I agree. Okay. Okay. Well, oh, do the car elevators break all the time and are super unreliable? Do they really? I guess that's not that unsurprising because they're trying to like lift a significant amount of weight and very high, right? And also it's like a weird luxury thing. That's fascinating to me though. So curious. Um, Anyway, I've never been in one, so <laughs> fight and Kita Cats and uh, Naki and Emma and Sage, thank you for the subs. All right, I don't really know what I want this to look like, so we're gonna have to wing it, chat. Um, 
This is gonna be interesting. I can build right on the edge, right? Oh, okay, good. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I feel like woefully unprepared for this. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I don't know what I want it to look like. Um, okay. I think, well, first of all, I started recording and then I didn't finish it yet. So let me, uh, let me delete the footage that's literally just uh, nothing. <laughs> I don't want to uh, have that and then we can start just got here. What's happened? Oh, we've just been kind of talking about plans gnome uh, For what we think the penthouse might want to look like but we're not entirely sure what it's actually gonna look like yet. So Melissa Kayla forever. Thank you for the subs uh, Okay, let's just do it. Do you need to build staircases? Yeah, Kate, you need to have staircases like inside um, the elevator won't work like inside the building. The elevator only works, um, the elevator only works, like, to, to get up to the building. And then you need to have, uh, staircases to get anywhere else in the building. Big terrace garden. Yeah, I'd like to have a big garden like that. I think that would be super cool. Um, that's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I realized just how big this, uh, this lot was. <laughs> We can use some grass or something. Rooftop garden! Ooh. Well, this might be okay, cause then, oh, is that clipping? Oh my gosh, weird. Huh. Look at that. Does it go away if I put like a wall in there? No. Huh. I don't know, besties. Maybe I could have it like uh, not go all the way up to the edge of the building. Cause then I can have like a bit of a trim. Oh, the cat is here. I told you the cat was gonna show up. That's always clipped. Yeah, I haven't built a penthouse in a while, so I wasn't sure. Um, it's gonna be huge. Oh my, can do a balcony window? Yeah, maybe. Um, Holly, we're building this in San Maishuno. This is a penthouse lot in uh, the world that came with, okay, I can't see, Snap. <laughs> I can't see what I'm trying to build here because you're you're kind of blocking me. I hope you understand. I feel sort of limited by um, the size of the lot. Like the shape of the lot makes me feel like sort of trapped. Oh, I will figure it out though. Just you wait, okay? This is totally fine. Do an open second story for really tall ceilings. We could do something like that. We could have it be lofted if we wanted to. Um, okay. A cow and Jenny and Marissa and Leah, thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, maybe we could try and make it like, I'm trying to think of ways that this could be sort of, I don't know, I guess like more of an interesting shape. Like if we did something a little bit, uh, it's like so wide though. Look, this is a work in progress, all right? I'm not accepting criticism at this time because I don't really know what I want it to look like. So I'm just kind of experimenting with shapes. So you have to, um, you really have to give me a second while I try to figure out what I want it to be. And then once we figure it out, we can, we can start talking more about the rest of it. Um, I guess, I don't really know if I want, your apartment has a big balcony around penthouse apartments, really? Yeah, the thing is about this one, because this place is so big, um, like because this apartment is so big, oh, I love those windows. Like the lot is kind of huge. Um, a lot of the building is just gonna be balcony outdoor space just in general, you know? Okay, that's the size of that. I like those windows. I think that's quite cool. I don't have a door to it though. <laughs> I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We just gotta figure out the vibes. And then once we get the vibes in, we can go from there. The mosquito windows are nice too. Yeah, those are cool, but they're, they have um, like more lines in them, you know? Amber, Cherry, Starly, T, and Ribbon, and Struble. Thank you all for the subs too. Uh, snap. 
I'm trying to decorate my apartment. Um, you always forget about them in San Marcino. Me too, Lizard. I just, this isn't something that I really think about all that often. If I'm being completely honest with you, I, I really just haven't spent a lot of time thinking about the penthouses. Um, and so it's, it's kind of interesting to like come in and try and build one. <laughs> Cause I haven't built one of these in years, <laughs> you know? Um, I wonder if we can try and make this like more of a funky shape. I wonder if I could get a cool door there too. Um, okay. I don't know. Most of the doors that are tall aren't very like, you know, they're not really the vibes, I guess. What I really want, you know that, um, let me just set this down for a second. You know that door from Seasons? Not sure about the balcony. Okay, Felix, I don't really care. <laughs> Can I just say again? Um, this build is, is really not going anywhere yet. So if you don't like something, that's totally fine. Shh, because I don't even know what I'm building yet. I'm probably going to bulldoze it and do it again. Um, so just keep that in mind, okay? <laughs> Think it needs glass fences? Yeah, so again, I'm not done yet. It's very much a work in progress, chat. Uh, it is very much a work in progress. We have not finished literally at all. It's probably gonna change a lot. Um, and also, oh, my cat keeps like flicking her tail and hitting my mouse. Um, and uh, we're not, we haven't really done anything. So everything's subject to changing. We don't really know what it's gonna look like yet. Um, so please don't say my build is ugly because then I'll get upset and then I won't want to finish it. <laughs> Just give me a chance, okay? <laughs> give me a chance to figure it out and then and then we can revisit that <laughs> if it's still ugly after I've done more to figure it out, okay? Um, I think I want this part to not be up top. I've decided. Um, I think what I'm going to do instead is have this be like a platform to try and... Uh, That's how I'll try and make it like multi. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to put a platform on the roof. Sorry. That's how we're going to try and make this look like it's multi, multi levels. Okay. There's not a door up there, which is weird. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out though. And it's going to be so good once we do. It's just one of those trust the process kind of builds, okay? <laughs> uh, Virgo, Margaret, Sid, Peyton, Kayla, Charlie, second. Thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, you can see the vision. All right, good. Good. Um, I don't really know how exactly I want to go about this. I guess I'm trying to make this look like it's, um, oh no, upstairs. I guess I'm trying to make this look like it's got like, I don't know, like mul multiple heights. There's like more levels to it. That looks actually ugly. No one's allowed to say that only I am. Still trying to figure it out. Make a pole, why? For what? Just to have a pole? <laughs> Um, no, we'll make, we, we'll do a bunch of polls here, but we'll, we'll do polls more so like when we actually have something to make a poll for, you know, I kind of just started, so I don't have much of a, oh, they said pool, not poll. Oh, sorry. I'm so used to people in my chat yelling at me to make polls. I'm always like, why? Like what poll? <laughs> Cause they do that too, but pool makes sense. That makes way more sense. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can have pools on penthouses. We can find out. You can. Uh, Jack, Nico, Virgo, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, I feel like I personally don't really uh, love the vibes of this. I was looking at that house that was a garage before and I, it's, uh, there's no point trying, oh, I can't save something here. There's no point trying to make it look like the real life house because the real life house, it's not the vibes. 
it's not the vibes. <laughs> Who cares about the downstairs neighbors? Yeah, we can just put a pool right into their apartment, you know? Okay, my cat is making- Snappy, can you sit on my lap instead of on my desk so that I can actually get to my keyboard? Okay, she went back straight to the desk. Um, cool. Pools technically don't have walls on the bottom floor because you don't own the apartment underneath. Oh, does that mean that you can't put windows down there? Is that what you mean? No, you can. That's weird though. No, it looked good. Well, we're gonna do it again, Rosa. It's probably gonna be similar, just slightly different. You guys really gotta give me a sec. <laughs> you really gotta like give me a chance here. Um, Snappy, I need my keyboard, okay? Thank you. Thank you. I do think I want it to be similar, but maybe I'll make it like, um, maybe I won't do the balcony thing. Or maybe I'll have it be like, I don't know, to there or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, the problem with these windows though, or with these walls, if they're right up against the edge, the windows that I wanted to use uh, were from Get Famous and they're like a little bit shorter than the wall height is. I don't know if you can see that, but they're like, oh, 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 it being up against the wall is bad for more than one reason. Okay, that's interesting. Try putting it in a different spot where like on the wall, what are you talking about? Um, we had it scooted back before. That's difficult and puts us in a tough position. <laughs> anyway, we could do it if we just raise these up, but it won't like fill the entire wall basically, you know? Indoor pool? Oh my goodness, we'll see about that. We, we gotta figure out the exterior of this first. I don't know what I want the outside to look like. I really wanted to try and do a penthouse, but I'm like so um, unprepared to do a penthouse because it's just like so not something that I usually build, you know? Um, this is just like so different from, from the usual vibes that we go for, right? Um, it is cool because we can try and make it like really interesting with color scheme. Like I want to try and do it with black walls, I don't know. Although like someone in chat said, one of the reasons that I don't love this lot is because, okay, that's cool tile. One of the reasons that I don't love this lot is because like I, same with the other penthouses. This is kind of just like a penthouse problem in general to me. Um, but one of the reasons that I don't love the penthouses is because it feels like with the penthouses, you like almost have to match the, like the style of the building. Like like the these windows down here, I sort of feel like a, I don't know, like I have to make it look like the rest of the building. And that part is kind of tough to me. Um, Cause then I feel like I'm kind of stuck in like the box, you know? But we'll figure it out. It'll be cool. It's gonna be like so cool. Do you know what? This might actually be an interesting shape if we did it like this. Cause then we could have like, that part be grass, and then we could have this area be like some patio or something, you know? Um, I uh, will figure it out. And there could be like a little bit of landscaping. I, I've got a vision. We'll figure it out. Jenny, Ali, <laughs> Ebs, and Empress, and Breaker, and Spade, and Moon, and uh, Fish, and Julie, and Stacey, and everybody, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, no, I, you can't do terrain paint on penthouses because it's got like a, a solid floor, basically. Um, so I don't think you can do terrain paint on the penthouses. Uh, also that elevator doesn't function. It's this, this is like the same as an apartment. I'm actually really surprised by how many people seem to not know that penthouses exist in The Sims. People have been asking like, since when do we have these? Um, and they didn't realize that these were lots in City Living. <laughs> um, so just so you know, this is a just a regular lot in San Myshuno. Um, 
it's it's nowhere fancy or anything. It's just a regular lot in San Myshuno. Um and uh, it's it's just like on top of one of the apartment buildings. I think there's three penthouses in San Myshuno. Um So there's like the one that the lounge is on. Uh, there's like the giant mansion one, and then this one is a is a house. So did they really advertise it? Yeah, Sweet Berry. This was, I think, one of the like major selling points of the pack. Um, do I should I show you again? I'm actually like legitimately shocked that you guys didn't know about the penthouses. <laughs> um, but this so we're we're playing on this one. Let me turn my face cam off so you can see it better. Where is my face cam? Uh, we're playing on this one, the Fountain View penthouse. This lot is a penthouse. I assume you've been there, if you've been played in the pack. And then this lot is also a penthouse. Um, and it's just a lot on top of the existing... Like, it's on, on top of a fake building, basically. Um, so, you had no idea, too? You guys really didn't know about the penthouses? It's just a lot, like, on top of... It, like, it's just basically like a raised lot. It's not like on top of anything. It's fake, but it's just like a lot that's high up. But they're really big and I find them kind of hard to build. So I think a lot of us, oh my God, I can't even leave. So I think a lot of people don't build here very often, um, but I've built a lot of community lots on stuff like this before. How do they get up there? With the fake elevators, anxious. Um, just like how you get up into the other apartments. There's a fake elevator in the hallway. Um, you never knew it was a thing? You guys really didn't know it was a thing? Thought it was a fake house on the map? Huh. That's really interesting. <laughs> well, there you go. Now you know about the penthouses. <laughs> Thought it was a mod? No, it's, it's actually a feature in City Living. Um, I, I'm like truly amazed that you guys didn't know. <laughs> It's one of the oldest packs. Huh. Well, there you go. I'm like, do I need to make a video about the features of City Living? <laughs> the, it's like in the trailer and stuff from City Living. It was one of the like main selling points, I feel like. Because you couldn't edit like real apartments, but you could edit the penthouses at least. So... Um, anyway, fascinating. <laughs> Lisa, Gus, and Angel, and Bradley, and Chrissy, thank you for the subs. I know a lot of you did know, but maybe, maybe it seems like a lot of people didn't, so. Alright, I'm just gonna keep working on the build, though. Um, that explains why people keep coming in and being like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> that makes a lot more sense now. Uh, I'm, I'm beginning to understand better now why people keep asking. Um, okay. I wanted to drag that out. I wanted that to be raised up. And then I want this to be like, okay, bye snap, thank you. Maybe I don't like the overlap. I don't like the overhang anymore. I changed my mind, sorry. I want it to be just up against the edge. And I guess I want it to be not as tall. Down one? Could be like that probably um okay that that should do what about only in the front maybe i don't know what side is going to be the front yet either <laughs> so <laughs> i don't really know what i'm doing with this yet um we'll have to figure it out i think i want to match the brick so I think I'll probably use, oh, that's not even the exact same brick. Oh my God, that makes me like really upset to be honest with you. Oh boy. There's a reason I don't play in penthouses. <laughs> there is a reason I don't do this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Which side is front on the gallery? I think this side is. Um, no, it's this side that's the front on the gallery. Yes? Yeah, that's the front on the gallery. Okay. I reject that. I actually don't like that. Um, okay. Well, the lighting is worse over here, so... <laughs> Ooh, I like the evening light. The evening light is cool. 
Um, maybe I make this a little bit smaller. I'm sorry that you all have to see this. This is gonna be a lot of me, honestly, just like trying to experiment with shape right now and like see how I can make this look interesting. Like genuinely, that's gonna be half of what you're about to witness. So, I don't know if I like it like that. I liked it better before. Go back. Go back. Go back. Okay. Please put three stories. I don't know if I want to have a third story on top of this. I don't even- I don't know if I would even get, like, good use out of that, out of a third story, to be honest. Um, I'm not- I'm not sure that I really feel, like, a need for that or anything, you know? Um, yeah, look at that. 21% of people said they had, uh, they said we have penthouses, question mark? 112 people answered that poll. That's a lot. <laughs> That's 112 people answered that to the poll. Um, not just answered the poll. <laughs> but, yeah, the moon looks really cool back there, doesn't it? That's really cool. Um, okay, let me put this roof up here. Um, paint that. Make it black. I feel like this could be interesting. It's gonna take me a second to really figure out what it is I'm I'm trying to do here. So, bear with me. <laughs> bear with me while I try and uh, figure this one out, but. I kind of want to get, like, a really cool balcony of sorts, almost. I like the idea of there being, like, almost a wall, but not fully. Um, I like the, like, multi-levels of this. And then this could have, like, a glass... I originally was gonna use maybe, like, the get-to-work fence, because it was a little bit more industrial-looking. But maybe it should be glass. I do like this fence. I do think that fence is very fancy. But that way Sims can come out here and we have like the balcony. Um, would there be a pool? <laughs> I'm not sure if the pool being like right up against it is cool or not. It might be. Glass makes it more modern looking. Yeah, for sure. And we can do some skylights on the roof. Yeah, that's kind of what I was picturing as well. Um, I don't really... Oh, this is also the back, isn't it? Yeah, we have to make sure we keep that in mind. Because this is technically the front of this building. So we need to make sure we're thinking about that. Like, this is what the gallery is going to see. That's disappointing. I really don't think I'm good at this. I, like, I don't know what it is, but I really feel like, um... This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I also don't know if I like that window. I think it's because penthouses are kind of like a box. It, it, like, I feel stuck into the box of, like, the build style of what's under it, you know? Like I mentioned earlier. But... The mosquito stuff windows? I don't even- I really don't like them that much, if I'm being honest with you guys. I- I, like... I also feel like it doesn't mesh well with the windows that I used from Get Famous. Do you know what I mean? Um, maybe it should be smaller. Like, maybe it could be, um... If we tried to, like, split level it a little bit more... That might be better. Maybe it's just that the wall seemed, like, so tall. And, like, to a point where it was bad. Big desert lux window. Like, do you mean- isn't that, like, a sliding glass door? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, you mean this. Oh. 
Ah, uh, that is interesting, I guess. Um, we could, I don't know if that works with like how I've built this. Um, no, paranormal, this is just like a normal lot on the gallery. Um, so it, it just uploads like a lot. It won't upload like it's, um, a room or something. I guess I can make that one shorter. It's not the same as the apartments. It's like actually a lot. You like that window? Okay. That makes me feel a bit better about it. I think I'm really trying to make this like have some slight more interest to it. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I really don't know what I'm trying to do. This is so out of my comfort zone. Um, maybe we could try and make this into like a little box. Maybe I could do columns. You really don't want to be raised up all the way. Boo. Hi, Snap. I thought she left. She didn't. Uh, put that up on one platform. That might be alright. And maybe there could be like a different kind of window in there. And this could be like a different texture or something. Just to like kind of try and make it... What are you doing? I don't know. Just to try and make it like a different shape. And we'll do like solid windows. Something like this. Right? I think she just left. I don't know if we're gonna get a cat cam. <laughs> I think she's abandoned us. Maybe if it were the bigger pieces, like this size. Cause it's big. Basically what I'm picturing is like this part would be made of all black. I don't think that the trim comes in all black. <laughs> so that's interesting. I guess we could do something like that. That might be okay. I don't know what would be. I don't know. Sophie, Jesse, stay in Brooklyn and Jeff and Canadian. Thank you for the subs. Um, Miz and Abby and Ab and Hollins too. Thank you all so much. I feel like that helps make it look a little bit more interesting. At least, right? Um, and then I wonder what sort of like... Oh no, I don't have any Sims in mind for this, Peachy. I, I think I'm literally just trying to make like... I, I think I'm just trying to make something. I, I don't think I have anybody that I'm like visualizing. I, I think I'm literally just trying to do a build. <laughs> and like see where we go from there. <laughs> um, okay, and then maybe over here. The problem is I've been using this medium wall height. And this cool door is only for short wall height. I wonder if I could do that, like, up here on the second floor for the balcony. That looks really cool. Do you know what? And then maybe on the inside, maybe this could be lofted so that this is, like, just open on the inside. And this is, like, a bedroom upstairs. You know? Uh, Laurel Lemon Lady, thank you for the subs. A as well, thank you so much. Also, <laughs> sorry, I, I lost who said it, Arch. Um, asked if I can make a Southern Hemisphere Christmas house one day. Do you know what? Not even for the Aussies. You guys realize I live in Florida, right? <laughs> I, um, it, it might be winter here at Christmas time, but it's not really. Like, <laughs> it's, hot weather on Christmas is, uh, that's where I'm from too. <laughs> Oh, it's Florida winter where I am. Um, that's sort of why I like building such like snowy things at Christmas time because I reject the the warm weather at Christmas where I live. You know, <laughs> um, I like I like reject the Christmas palm tree vibes um, 
Because that's, that's what it's like where I'm from. <laughs> Um, so I'm so sorry to any of you who are in the Southern Hemisphere, um, but I, I don't like the vibes. This is what I have too, but I don't like it. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> to me and Laza and Megan and Fluffy, thank you for the subs as well, by the way. Um, okay, I like this. I think this is cool. Maybe if I had, uh, if I did it like that with the grass, just like kind of separate it. Um, Kiwi here and I'm offended. I'm sorry, Ducky. <laughs> I, I hate Florida Christmas. I hate it. Um, can we use the Desert Lux tile outside? Yeah, I haven't picked a tile for the outside yet. I was just putting like any sort of a uh, floor down, but I hadn't actually picked it yet, so. Um, that might work pretty well, honestly. Oh, why? Huh. Is that because these aren't rooms? Because it... Oh, that is very interesting. I can't put it up to the edge either. Huh. Okay, well, I'm going to try and do a platform to like do my own thing with it a little. Let's just see how that ends up looking, I guess. Um,. I might put, like, a... I'll see if I can make this into, like, a little landscaped area, maybe. Um, pool on the second level. I kind of like the pool up here on this level, to be honest. Um, but anyway, Fairy, thank you for the resub. <laughs> and Kor and Mori and Amy and Doomy and everybody, thank you for the subs. Also, guys, uh, if I could ask like a slight favor of those of you who have seen my YouTube video from today already, um, I totally understand the excitement and want to talk about it. Trust me, um, it happened to me as well, and I bet I was more shocked than you were. Um, but if, if you could be so kind as to not spoil it in chat for people that haven't seen it yet, I would really appreciate that. Um, I know it's like fun to want to talk about it, but it's, I only posted it like an hour ago, two hours ago. So um, people might have not have seen it yet and I don't want them to get it spoiled for them. Um, I hope you understand, but if, if you could, um, shh. <laughs> just so that no one has any spoilers if they wanted to watch it. Um, I hope you get it. I hope you know what I mean. I know no one like means any harm by putting spoilers in chat, but uh, just for the sake of everybody else, I'd hate to like have it ruined or anything like that, so. Um, none of these have what I want. <laughs> um, why, like, honestly, why is it so difficult to achieve, like, a solid black that isn't, like, so much of an overhang? I guess that's okay, but I don't like it. Um, uh, Natalie, thank you for the prime sub. Um. Oh, extroverted, don't worry, I, I won't get spoiled in chat. My mods have been deleting it and stuff, um, so hopefully it won't get spoiled for you. Um, we've been trying to make sure it won't get spoiled, but I won't talk about it. <laughs> um, I won't talk about it. We just gotta ask chat to not talk about it either, you know? And hopefully they won't. Um, uh, I don't know if I should make it line up with, like, my building or the main building. I guess my building makes more sense, right? Um, I feel like that's probably for the best. I wonder if I could get like a cool wood thing, like the one from Eco Lifestyle. Let's try it. What show? Not a show. <laughs> Not a show. Lil Susie's YouTube video. <laughs> Lil Madeline, thank you for the subs. Um. Oh my gosh. Um, I think the wood looks cool, right? I feel like that kind of matches the vibes too. All right, let's try that. 
get a slightly different sort of uh, shape going on over here. Maybe I could try and do some landscaping in this area. And maybe I could put it on a platform as well. What happens if I raise that up? No, 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 just this part. Just right here. Um, I don't really like that. I guess I could do this, wait. I could do it like this. Cause what I really, I think I liked the, um, like the trim around the pool basically. I think I'm trying to make the pool look like it blends in a little bit better. I think that's what I kind of like about it. So maybe we could try and do something like that. I don't know if I want that to be like a place. I don't know. I don't know. It's so best of snowy. Thank you for the subs. Um, you like the black? I think the black looks cool too. Maybe I could have this go all the way to this edge. How do I think of the platform around the pool? Oh, the pool was just bugging me because I couldn't put, uh, I couldn't bring it out here because this is where the downstairs is. Like I can't have it over here because there's a balcony underneath it. So I, um, I just put a platform around it so it would fill in. <laughs> It literally is just because it wouldn't let me do it how I wanted to. <laughs> I wouldn't have done the platform if I wasn't forced to. Um, but I think it looks alright. So. I don't know. Tiny Sylvester, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. So. This is the back. This is technically the front. So we have to do some stuff to make this look interesting. Do you think we can put trees on the roof? And second point, should I put trees on the roof? Yes? Okay. I wonder if I could make this look like um, that thing I had done on the other side with like a box for some windows. I'm trying to make this look more interestingly shaped. It's good for the environment. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's good for the environment. Um, oh, there is a weird white line there. Huh. Paint it black. Okay. Make them look like the trees are in planter boxes. That's definitely an idea. Um, I was thinking I would do some like tall, skinny trees. I guess it doesn't have to be in planter boxes. If we have a pool up here, um, hmm. Like we could have trees that aren't in. There's an apartment in the back with planter boxes on the roof. Where? They have planter boxes. I guess there's a lot of those like, um, it looks like a lot of these trees around in this world. So this might be okay. I, I think this is kind of cool, honestly. Love the black tile would be so hot to walk on in real life. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> it would be a nightmare in real life. Luckily it's the Sims, so we can do whatever we want. But no, you're right, in real life, that would be so bad. Um, how do I want to do this? I almost want to like, see if I can fake it a little. Um. Let's see, how high to the top of this wall can I get this? I'm trying to make this, like I'm, I'm basically trying to pretend that this is like split leveled more than it is, um, cause that's a platform. But I want it to look like there's more heights going on than we actually have essentially. Um, and I feel like that's kind of cool, so. Have I watched the series Wednesday? No, I haven't seen any of it yet. 
I've been seeing everybody talking about it though, but I, I haven't watched it myself yet. Um, okay. I wonder if I should put like two tree- the problem is this tree is quite big. Maybe I could do that and then I'll just make sure I use like the debug planter. So. Okay, let me look in city living. And let me pop into debug. Oops, come here. Kelly, Tiny, Sylvester, thank you for the subs. Um, I finished it in a day. How many episodes of it are there? Because I feel like it came out and then everybody had seen the whole thing already. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> how did this happen so fast? Um, okay. Um... Um, um, um. Oh, hey, Steve! Thanks for the 10 months! Singing in the shower is fun until you get soap in your mouth. Then it becomes a soap opera. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, truly. Thank you so much. <laughs> How's your day been, Steve? Um, I hope you've been having a good one. Okay, I think... Also, chat, if you don't follow my friend Steve... Um, if you don't follow my friend Steve already, you really should. Um, there's a, there's a, I was gonna say a link in the chat, I guess it's like one of those pop-ups in the chat. But you should go follow him now. You don't have much choice, because, do it because I said so. Um, 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 okay, I'm looking specifically for, uh, live edit object. Do I even have live edit on? BB dot show live edit objects. Um. I'm looking specifically for a live edit, like, tree, uh, cage. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say that? I forget where- this. Got it. That was easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, I was looking very specifically for this tree cage and I got it, so don't mind me. Um, I guess I could probably use two of them back here. I guess I could size that tree down as well. There we go. Gotta cage those trees so they don't try to escape. Yes, yeah, seriously! <laughs> Keep thinking for 32 months. If I were a tree, I wouldn't want to be up here, so I'd try to escape. We can't have that. Alright, what else do we need? Uh, we need like a door or something over here. Um, this doesn't come in black. That's super annoying. Um, 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 maybe if we did... Honestly, does this come in black? It comes in wood, which is not what matches my build. That's white, which is not what matches my build. Maybe the brown could be okay. Although I used a lot of this, like, gray-toned wood. Should I make it more of a brown-toned wood? I feel like I liked the gray better. I think this is the best that we can do given the- oh yeah, I should save my game. That's a good call. <laughs> Frog's gold, thank you for the subs, by the way. Oh no. I think the brown kind of works with the brick. Yeah, I agree. I kind of like that about it. Um, and then... The situation with the doors is not good. You liked the brown more? Oh, with the wood, really? I don't I don't think I liked it. Um Yeah, I finished the spa build 80. It's on my gallery if you're looking for it. Um how do we feel about that? I don't know if I like this item. I want to like this item. The other awnings that we have are, like, blue. <laughs> like, we have this one, but this one is blue. I don't know. The kit one? I tried the Desert Luxe kit one. I didn't like it. That was one of the first things that I tried. I didn't like how it looked. Um, 
I feel like this one looks kind of like... I don't know, it just- it looks kind of like rustic or something to me. And that's not really what I'm going for. I guess we can make it fill the space a little bit better if we use this one. Because it sizes down pretty well. So maybe I will use that. I tr that was the first thing that I tried when I was first making- like, when I was just trying to figure out the shape of the building. And I decided against it. Maybe we can make it work. What about a platform? We could always do a platform again. I kind of like the texture of that, though. It's definitely a different vibe, but... Do you guys want to keep it for a sec and see if we can make it work? This is what the outside of this building is going to look like so far. Um, I feel like I need to use maybe a fancier bush. Maybe a column to hold it up. Do you think it needs a column? I thought it could just be wall mounted. Um, problem with putting a column, we have to use like one of the fake columns because the real columns don't do that. <laughs> um, you know, like the fake columns, like one of these, even these are going to be too big, I think. Because I put it so low. I don't know. I think it's okay with it floating, though. I feel like it's kind of alright, honestly. Um, pretend it's made out of steel. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> pretend it's made out of steel. It's- it's like wall-mounted anyway. That's- that's how it normally comes, so... Do you want to try it like this, with the three glass windows there? Um... Okay. Uh... Okay. I think- Oh my gosh, Simmery! Hey, thank you for the raid! Welcome in! I'm trying to build a penthouse! <laughs> I never build penthouses! I'm so out of my comfort zone! <laughs> I hope you're having a good day so far today. Um, yeah, we're working on trying to make a cool penthouse. Um... Uh... Oh no, Michelle, Jilly, Simmery, Shiny, Jen, thank you all so much. Um, okay, 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 sorry, I'm so lost, I'm so lost. <laughs> Which lot is this? I can show you guys. We had a whole conversation earlier, I should probably bring it up again. People didn't know what penthouses were. Like, not just didn't know what it was in real life, I mean they didn't know that we had them in The Sims. Like, people in my chat were like, since when has that existed? Um, so just so you know, this is a lot that you can build on. Um, of over here. This is a lot you can build on, and so is this one back here where I am. It's basically a, a lot on, um, on top of a building. It's like elevated. You can't get into the building, um, but you can build on top of it in, in, uh, The Sims 4 with, with Eco Lifestyle. So, um, that's what we are up to. We've been trying to build on this lot today. Um, <laughs> Simlex and Shiny and Simmery and happy birthday Shiny and Simmery again. Sorry, thank you for the raid. I'm so all over the place right now. Um, but yeah, a lot of people didn't know that the penthouses were a thing, so... There you go. <laughs> we have penthouses in The Sims. Um, welcome. <laughs> it's with City Living, Lisa. Yeah, it came with City Living. It's in San Myshuno. Um, yes, indeed. Okay, did I say eco lifestyle? I meant city living. I was looking at eco lifestyle stuff. This uh, eco lifestyle has apartments, but not. I said the wrong thing. Oh my god! Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I will cry. <laughs> city living is the pack. I've explained this like fifteen times today, so I'm, you know, um, obviously it came with uh, San Myshino and city living. So there's three penthouse lots, Dylan. Um, there's three penthouse lots. Penthouse lots. Uh, Nine ten and Sim likes and Simri. Thank you for the sub again. Thank you all so much. Um, Okay. Okay. I'm feeling good about this. We've got eco on the brain. Yeah, yeah, a lot, apparently. I'm really thinking about eco lifestyle today. <laughs> um, I feel like I need to figure out the window situation over here. And I also want a door over here. I don't like how short it is. I wish it was taller, but it's like not that big of a deal. <laughs> It's kind of fine. I just wish it were a little bit bigger, but whatever. What are you gonna do? 
Can I add a little bit of brick, like a slight brick accent, at least on the bottom of this? Maybe? Maybe I'll make that black. No. Maybe I'll make this part black so it sort of disappears more, the column. And then we can do a tiny brick accent. Mm. That makes me feel like I, I have to scoot this over though, and I don't want to do that. Um, okay. Ah, uh, one second. Ah, uh, I want to put some of these lights over here. I don't know how close I feel like that'll be fine. Vines on the brick accent. Well, maybe. Um, no, you can make, Joanna, you can make the penthouse lots any lot type. Um, like Christine said, there's one that's a, a lounge by default. So you can make it into a cafe or something if you wanted to. Um, I don't know. The possibilities are endless. I feel like the all the shades of black being so different are really bothering me. <laughs> Like, really, really bothering me. Um, okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Do I like that? I don't think I like that. And I don't like the brick. Oh, no. Um... When is the shell tours planned for? Tori, we're gonna do it on the 10th of December. Um, so that is the plan, December 10th. I was envisioning. Should I make that just be black? Maybe I shouldn't have it be bumped out. Maybe that's the problem. You know what, that was the problem. It was the problem. Maybe I can just do this cool window and put it like kind of lower so that, no, I don't like that. Uh, I'm struggling so much. Um, the shell tours are on December 10th. That's what we're gonna do, um, how we're gonna do the shell tours. Um, okay. We made a new shell challenge last week. So that's what they're asking about. Maybe it could just be big glass. Um, I feel like that seems nice to me. That seems reasonable. Okay, okay. I feel like I got there in the end. <laughs> I was really struggling with the layout. Uh, Grant, Galaxy, and Sea Bear, thank you for the subs. All right, let me just get some light inside. Oh, not there, because it's gonna be lofted on the inside. Um, okay, so I wanna draw a wall over here, and I'd like to get a really cool staircase. I think it would be cool if we had it open like this to the upstairs. And then I'm envisioning this um, being like how you get, uh, like the bedroom will just be the whole upstairs basically. Would I use this for my orange gen of not so berry? No, Darth, only because when I get to the orange gen, I'll probably want to build a new lot. Um, I just like building. <laughs> So, uh, when, I, when I'm actually playing the orange gen of Not So Berry, I'll probably build another one. Um, okay. Uh, should we do like shiny wood and then we could do the concrete downstairs? That could be kind of cool. Cause it like continues from the outside in. This is definitely not a needs TLC apartment. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. 
you're you're probably right on that one. Um, <laughs> you're you're not wrong there. So, <laughs> um, okay. What do I want to do? Hmm. Viola, extra shorts at Del Mar Madison. Thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Okay. This will do. Question, though. There's so many windows everywhere. I don't know where to put the elevator. So if you missed it, these elevators and these penthouses aren't real elevators. Like your sim doesn't use it any differently than the ones that just are in regular apartments. Uh, it's a fake, like decorative elevator, essentially. Um, it's not a real, like functional elevator. Um, but they have to have one on the penthouse because it's how they get up here. So when your sim like spawns at the front door, they'll come up. Um, and then they'll show up in this, in this elevator, basically. Um, in one of the interior corners. Yeah, the problem is there's not a lot of interior corners, friend. <laughs> Obviously we have like this part over here, but there's not really a ton of interior corners because I put windows everywhere. Um, I could always put it back, like, in this area. We could have this be, like, a fake lobby. Um. Okay. Um. And then they can have, like, that looks so weird, though. Can I have this be on a half tile? Can it really not be on a half tile? Oh, game. I find you so stressful. Yeah, some penthouses have the elevator walk directly into the house, but I'm I'm not thinking about it like that. I'm thinking about this like the game. Um, I'm pretty sure that the mail and stuff is gonna come up here. And I'm pretty sure that like the, the mail person will like walk in here. So we need like a fake space for garbage and the mail. Otherwise, um, they're going to be walking into our apartment, which isn't necessarily a terrible thing, but is also not really what I want to have happen. So what we, I'm kind of trying to make like a fake entrance, fake front door area for that reason. <laughs> so like the visitors won't just show up into the house and stuff too. Um, you know? Yeah, if your sim's famous, you'll have paparazzi showing up in here. <laughs> like, it's probably for the best if we make like a sort of um, fake entrance, basically. Can put the mailbox right next to the door over there. Okay. That seems cool. So that's where you enter. That's like the front door. And then... Um, Okay, this should do. This should do. And then how are we gonna split this up? I like, really don't know how I wanna separate all of this. What do you guys think? Dining room by the stairs. Yeah, I need to have a bathroom as well. Um, so, I'm trying to see, maybe the bathroom could be like, of course the best window is in the bathroom. That's stupid. Um, and then that makes this kind of small for the kitchen, though. Maybe the kitchen would be better there. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, my dad's texting me. Oh my god. I feel really anxious today bathroom in the middle. I don't really want to put it in the middle still because I kind of like the idea of it being um, 
like open. We could probably get like a little uh, half bath right here. Um, so that there's at least a second bathroom. I won't use that tile, but just as like a filler. We could get like a little toilet sink. Um, okay, and then maybe there could be a main bathroom. Problem is with how I've done these windows, it doesn't really like look that good. An open bath in the bedroom. Oh my god, I literally hate that. You know those houses, like these mansions now, that have been, like, they'll have, um, basically picture like this. It'll be like this, and there's just, like, straight up a bathtub, like, in the middle, the bed's over here, and there's no wall, and there's, like, a bathtub there. I hate that. I, like, genuinely, genuinely hate that. That's, like, one of my least favorite trends that I've ever seen. I don't know what it is, but I I really, really actively dislike how that looks. I don't understand open bathrooms. Um, I, I just, I, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I would never ever want to live like that. That is not for me. Um, okay. Maybe I will use that one. That's from Dream Home Decorator. I kind of like it. <gasps> I could get the door underneath the stairs. That might be kind of a fun use of the stairs. About a half wall bathroom? No, 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 no. <laughs> Guys, I'm really not doing a half open bathroom. I, like I said, it's it's just not my vibes. I, I really just don't like how that looks that much. So it's not something that I would want to do, probably. Um, okay. Uh... Let me keep thinking about this. If I were Kayla, I am Kayla, but if I were, you know, trying to build this, where would I want to put a... I wonder if I could have a door there. Where would I want to put another bathroom? Do I want to do it right here? Or do I really want to put the kitchen there? I almost want it to be big. Um, make a bump out upstairs. I don't really want to add to the shape of it. Um, I'm going to pick a different tile too, but this is okay for me for now. Um, maybe the kitchen could go like along this wall, we could have it be open. Hang on. Hang on, I've got an idea. Maybe I'll use the base game ones. And bump out another bed and bath and do living, dining and kitchen in the middle space. You want this to be a bedroom? I could make it a bedroom. I could even make it a little bit bigger because that gives me like more space to separate the kitchen. Um, but I want the kitchen to be on this wall. Ugh. A second bedroom would be nice. I hate this. <laughs> this build is honestly causing me stress. I feel like what I need to do, honestly, is like, um, decide to close off some of this. I, I feel like the best thing that I can do for everyone here is like switch this up. I was just trying to keep those stupid windows, but honestly, the best we can do is make this closed off more. Um, you have a smaller bathroom. But that's Well, I can make it a bit bigger. Because that's still really big. And then it's a three bathroom, two bedroom house. So, Krista, Ari, Jelly, Isa, thank you for the subs. Um, and it's okay to just have the open stair landing. Like it doesn't need to be, I can also close this off so it matches the downstairs completely. And I could steal that in the bathroom maybe. That makes the shape look kind of cool. 
I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe a closet there? I don't like how the closets are, Ghibli, honestly. Um, maybe it, like a fake closet, <laughs> but probably not a real closet, because I don't really like how the, the like, real in-game closets work. They're not my favorite. Ew, don't like that. Um... Well... This makes it have absolutely enormous windows. Which might not be a good thing. I don't really like them in the corner. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do windows on this side, and I just don't like them. I guess there could be a toilet in there. I don't know. You like the larger windows better? Oh god. <laughs> I am so stressed right now. I don't know what it is about this build, but it's like really, really getting to me. <laughs> I can't do the larger windows the way that we had them because of how the the, um, the wall is. I don't know if you can see that, but... Do you like that? I don't know. Make that nook a separate toilet room? I don't know if I'm gonna separate it. I don't really like having, um... Plus then the windows are even worse, but... Um, Pixie, thank you for the sub too. Um, okay. No, it's not, it's not like everyone's wishes. It's just that I don't know how I want the build to look. And so then everyone has an opinion and it makes it even harder for me to know how I want the build to look. <laughs> because even I don't know what I want it to look like, you know? So when I'm trying to figure it out and everybody's like, mm, I hate it. It th really throws me off. Um, it's not anybody's fault though. It's just how it, kind of how it is. So. Okay. Um. All right. I feel like I kind of like having um, those there. I think it looks cool from the outside. And then, I don't love this though. This whole thing is so ugly. Like this whole thing, so ugly. Um, okay. Um. I don't really want to have big windows there. It's not ugly. I, d I feel like it's this wall I mean, not the whole building. This wall. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean the whole building's ugly. I mean specifically this wall I think is ugly. Um. Is it limited packs? No, ham, it's not. It was, uh, I originally thought about it, but then I got a little carried away. So it's not limited packs anymore. Um, maybe like that would be better. This is supposed to be a bathroom. Terrible. I guess that could be the toilet room that we talked about. <laughs> Don't think the walls need windows. Brutalist vibes. I hate Brutalist. <laughs> um, make a vertical garden, like lots of plants. I just, I don't, I don't. Um, okay. Um, all right. I'm trying to decide. Oh my gosh, Kayla, hi. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. It's good to see you all. I am trying to build some sort of penthouse and I'm stressing myself out because I don't know how to make this empty wall look less bad. <laughs> but I hope you had a good stream. <laughs> Call me, thank you for the sub, by the way. Um, guys, if you don't follow my friend Kayla, uh, please, please urgently go follow her. It's so important. She is the coolest. Um, and you are really missing out if you don't follow her. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to make this penthouse lot uh, and struggling. So, welcome in! <laughs> no, it's just- it's just this wall that I don't really know what to do with. 
Um, Willis, if I didn't read your sub, I'm not sure that I saw it because I thought I've caught up with all of the subs. No, I haven't seen Big Blue Frames or Sarah's or Jack's or Gliders or Isabella's. I think I'm caught up now though. What <laughs> uh, about a wall mural? Oh, I guess maybe. That might be interesting. I'm sorry, I was just gonna see if I could get um, another one of those little like tree cages to put over here. Make it a balcony, like over here. It's uh, it's off though. Like there's no space there. There's no door. So your Sims wouldn't be able to get to it. Um, that's the problem. Little tree cage. I can put this over here. I can get another one of these. Cute. That helps. Looks more lively. You know? A little bit less sad. Um, I am pro tree jail, says Twitch user Plancy. <laughs> TJ, thanks for the sub. Um, yeah, so the penthouse lots sugar, the penthouse lots sugar are literally just lots. Like it's uh, it's not like an apartment or anything like that, that that you might be used to. It's it's literally just a lot. So um, you can build stuff on top of it and things, um, and and then you can kind of do whatever with it. So. Uh, you don't have to- you aren't stuck to walls because it's a lot on top of a building. There's three penthouse lots that came with City Living. Um, and they all work like that. So we talked about some sort of like living wall, but I don't really like a lot of the plant options. Um... I wonder if I would like it if I did... Now, why are the colors like that? I don't... I don't know what to put on this wall. Maybe I could do nothing on that wall. More natural looking? I don't know if I want to do that. This is how it looks from the front now. Once we get some furniture, it might be okay. Maybe it doesn't need anything here on this wall. I'll just raise this up. Um, okay, that makes me feel better because I've chosen to leave it alone. <laughs> I've chosen to ignore it. <laughs> Julia, thank you for the subs. I don't know if I want to do one of the murals. We'll we'll play with some like lighting and stuff later uh, once we start figuring it out um, and we'll see how that looks. But I don't know if I want to do a mural. People had suggested that, but I don't know if I want it to look like that or not. I'm not sure. I do like these. Those are cool, but I don't know. Uh, I think I want it to be a little bit fancier than that. Um, I mean, truthfully, we've used enough spa day already. I could totally justify using these. We can get like a really big island too. That could be kind of cool. I like how it ties in some other colors, but maybe we could try, we could try and bring in some wood. That might make it feel a little bit less bland in here if we tried to bring in some wood. There's also like all black, which might be cool. We'll have to see. Um, okay. Where's that door from? This one is from Dream Home Decorator. Um. Okay. Uh, uh. Maybe just the base game ones. This is always fine. That's kind of the industrial -y vibes, so... That will work. I don't know what I want to use. We talked about the industrial loft kit being like kind of fun. I guess that would tie in some of the wood colors too, the industrial loft kit, so. 
I don't know. It's got potential. I'm not 100% sure. Juliana Turtle, thank you for the subs. Okay. Uh, I don't really like the spa day cabinets. I wonder if we could do it like this and then do like shelves. Um, Cause then it won't clip with the window like the cabinets would. Um, that's kind of cool. Is the stainless steel different between the stove and fridge? I think it's just the lighting. Um, cause they are the same. I think if I just got some more lights, it might match better. I haven't like actually placed the lights yet. So I think it's just the lighting that's making it look kind of off. Um, okay. Maybe the dining room. I feel like it makes the most sense for the dining table to be over here. I'm just kind of placing some furniture. I feel like it makes the most sense for the table to be over here. I'll pick different chairs, don't worry. I'm just kind of putting stuff to like figure out scale. And then the living room can be over here maybe because there's a wall that I can put a TV on. Although this door is kind of throwing me off. Um, but that's kind of what I'm feeling like right now at least. Glass table. Again, Phoenix, I have a, I'm not sure what table we'll use yet. I'm just trying to figure out the spacing. Um, just trying to figure out the spacing so that we know where things are going to go and then we can pick like the actual ones that we're going to choose, you know? Um, okay. Um, diagonal door wall. I don't want to put a diagonal wall there because it uh, lines up with, with uh, this wall upstairs. Wall to separate the kitchen? Oh no, I, I kind of want it to be all open. Like one big open floor plan in here. I don't know what rug I would use, but we'll figure it out. Um, I'm mostly just trying to figure out, again, like... This would make for like a really good spot for a really big TV. <laughs> um, it would be so cool if it was like the whole wall as well. Can I like... Overlap them. I guess you can't really tell. Oh, you can a little bit, but... If we did it like that, that might be kind of cool. Can I put this silly little door in the corner? I don't like the door in the corner. I ruined it. <laughs> I had such a cool idea and I ruined it. Can I make it smaller? Um, that kind of cuts into the space. That does make this bathroom a better size, though. The one up here. It's fine in the corner. I hate it in the corner. That's like my one of my least favorite things about The Sims is when I have to put doors in the corner because they don't fit right. Like when you put a door um, on one tile, it like clips part of the door off. Do you see that? Like, part of the door is clipping. Really irritates me. It's it's just how I feel. <laughs> I don't like having doors when they're in only one tile. I like to have it bigger. But this room being bigger is probably for the best anyway. And it's okay if the living space is a little bit smaller. I want to use a different rug than that. Put the door on the outside like a guest house? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ellie, Erica, Julia, thank you for the subs. If I swap the living and the dining, I like to like this mark because I um, there's not a wall for a TV. The the like goal that we're sort of struggling with right now is that we want to have a wall that a TV fits on, essentially. Um, so that's that's where I'm at. But I think this is really good. I think that'll do. I probably don't even need to have this be like. What a weird shaped room. <laughs> 
Truly, what a weird shaped room. We could have the, the like toilet closet be over here though. Instead of having the window part be in the toilet closet, which would be better. Um, Steph, Ali, thank you for the subs, both of you. Okay, I feel, I'm feeling better about this. This one's caused me a lot of stress. I don't know why. I think I've just been really stressed out today. I've had a, I've been dealing with a lot of really bad anxiety today, so I'm sorry if it's coming across on stream. <laughs> I don't usually like streaming when I'm feeling like that because it makes me feel like I'm doing a really bad job at it, so hopefully you can't tell. But, um, I don't know what tile I want to use in here, so let's think about this. I'd like to use a tile. And I think the black is kind of cool. But... I don't really know, like, what the- oh, that's kind of cool, though. Because the black is, like, the same height as the windows. I don't know if I want it to be black and white, though. Because a lot of this building is, like, black and wood. Not necessarily black and white. But I guess there's probably going to be a lot of white on the inside, so... I'm gonna have to get over it. Um... That's not the vibes. Hexagon tile from Eco Lifestyle. Oh my gosh, that's one of my favorite floorings. Wait, I haven't used that one in a while. It's like actually a, a wood floor, but it's kind of like a cool hexagon. Do you know what? That's way better. You're really onto something with that. I really like that. I really, really like that. We can do it in the like blackish gray color too. Let's try that. And then on the walls, I don't know what to pair it with, but it's a cool floor. Um, really, Plancy? Thanks for the thousand bits, by the way. And Shira and Kelsey and Steph and Ellie, everybody, thank you so much. Um, okay. Maybe we could do like a... a deeper accent color. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Ew. This is city living. Yeah, we're in San Maishuno trying to build this at the moment. Maybe this like, this gray color. Green? Oh, I guess green would be good. I think I might like it better if I use the wood accent wall as like, I don't know, a different one. Maybe in the tiny, no, I don't know. Black accent wall, white tub, maybe. Um, hmm. Walk-in shower? We could try and make a fake walk-in shower. You know how there's like, um... You know those decorative things from university? Well, first of all, the literal shower from university. Uh, but there's like a little, uh... Glass... Decorative thing? Oh, sorry. Why am I yawning? Well, I know why I'm yawning. It's because I didn't sleep very well last night. <laughs> I was gonna be like, why am I yawning so much? Because you didn't sleep, Kayla. Um, but we could do this. I guess the black swatch is not very good. Why does it look like that? You're upsetting me, game. It almost looks better with the white glass, you know? We, I mean, we could do a fake window, obviously, but I kind of like these dividers. The white might be kind of cool. Try the mosquito one, the one from Nico Lifestyle. There's a bunch of them. Um, um, there's a bunch of little divider type things. But I don't know if I remember the one from Eco Lifestyle. Um, full length mirror. Oh, so much in debug. I feel like the white's cool. The snowy escape one is a lot smaller. Um, just use walls in the floor to ceiling windows from Eco Lifestyle. Yeah, we could totally just do a window. Um, 
that's like the easiest option. It would be a little bit bigger if I did the window though. Um, like obviously you could do this and then delete the, uh, and then have like a fake glass, you know? The eco lifestyle tall fence as a divider? Oh, that's interesting. Um, I guess that's always an option. I need to scoot that over more. I mean, we can just do a window. And then we can move it so it's like in a better space. Um, center that. That could be okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I think it looks good like that. Um, all right, I was gonna have the toilet goes in there. Um, we can just do like this thing, kind of pretty. We can only have one sink, but that's okay. It's not like we need a ton. We can do wood accents. I do like the, the mirrors that came with Dream Home Decorator. I might make it all white though. I don't know. You don't exactly need privacy in The Sims, so it's okay if it's right in front of this giant window. <laughs> it's fine, it's The Sims, who cares, you know? It's fine. <laughs> who, who cares what you can see? Do I want this? Oh, I kind of like the wood. So maybe. Try and get a little bit more of a wood accent. I don't know. MW and Anonymous and Phoenix and Bella, thank you all for the subs. All right, let me save the game. I think that's kind of nice, honestly. We'll get some toilet paper. Um, don't understand the obsession with two bathroom sinks. Bathroom is my time, no sharing. It's, it's okay, so when there's two bathroom sinks in real life, um, it's, it's not so much like because you want to spend time with someone. It's more like it's uh, easier because if, if more than one person is trying to get ready for bed at the same time, you don't need to like try and be sharing a tiny bathroom with just one sink, you know? Um, and then you have your own space. You don't have like, I don't know. Yeah, still no sharing. Okay, fair enough. You don't need to like move your stuff. I don't know. Um, like Rafty says, so you don't need to deal with your boyfriend's beard hair in your sink. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. Luckily, Dan doesn't cause that problem. Uh, but yeah, if you don't want your boyfriend's beard hair in your sink, because a lot of men do that, unfortunately. Um, so, <laughs> uh, it's, it saves you a little bit of stress in that sense, I guess. Um. Should I put, like, the curtains from the kit? Also, if you have, like, a, a bathroom shared between siblings or something, if you have two sinks, um, then, then, like, you know, more than one person can be in there at once getting ready also. And you don't need to have, like, your annoying sister putting all of her stuff on your side or whatever. Um, but, I don't know. Growing up, we never had that. <laughs> um, okay. I feel like the curtains are kind of nice. But yeah, I never had that when I was a kid. We only had the one, so. Um, but if I would have had that, I would have liked it. Sorry to my sister, but it's true. <laughs> Fab and Spider, thank you for the subs. <laughs> I like the curtains. I think that looks cool. I, I'm into that. No, I'll keep that where it is. Let me try the downstairs bathrooms a little. No, I don't think double sinks are that common in the UK, Em. I think that, um, so like in this house where I live right now, uh, one of the upstairs bathrooms is like in between a bedroom. Um, it's like a Jack and Jill sort of bathroom. Uh, picture, I guess, like if there were a bedroom here and then there was like a door from here and from this bedroom into a shared bathroom. Um, there's like a bathroom in the middle of two bedrooms um, in this house and it has two sinks in it. 
Um, it basically has like, it's kind of like this vibe. <laughs> there's like two sinks here and then a shower and a toilet here. And there's like door, 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 kind of. Um, and I assume that would be nice if there were people living in both of those rooms. <laughs> um, like, cause that sort of thing, it uh, makes both people have their own sink and stuff. Um, but I don't know. I didn't build that. It just came like that. So <laughs> spotlight, thank you for the 11 months. If there's space for it, it's nice to have, I guess. Um, okay. Let's do this tiny bathroom. Um, let me get this toilet as well. I feel pretty good about that. It's small, but that's all we needed it to be. This is where like the guests can use the bathroom because we don't want them in our ensuite bathrooms, essentially. <laughs> we don't want to have to share this with the strangers. So we're making our little guest bath. Um, okay. Um, okay. As a European, you can't people's homes have more than one bathroom. Yeah, I mean, it's not everyone's house that has more than one bathroom. Um, certainly it's very common to only have one bathroom here in the States too, but uh, obviously a lot of houses have more than one bathroom. And it really is like a blessing to go from having just one bathroom in your house to having more than one bathroom. It is a, that is like a, a life changing experience if you've got like a big family living in your house and then you're able to split it up a little bit, it's like seriously a game changer. <laughs> um, why are we inviting strangers into our home? I mean the guests, so. But I don't want them in my bedroom so they can use this. This is the best they're gonna get from us. Um, we could do a cool accent wall if we wanted. One toilet and four housemates, it's challenging. Yeah, when I was in college, um, our dorm room, five, there was five of us girls that shared one toilet and one shower. And that was a nightmare, nightmare. I'm lucky that I always showered at night. Like I've always showered at night. Um, but like in the mornings before class, it was a nightmare to get the bathroom. Like good luck. Cause you would wake up and like need to pee or like brush your teeth and then there would, bathrooms being used. Um, it was, that was very unpleasant sharing with five girls in that one bathroom, especially because we all had really similar schedules. So we were all trying to use it at the same time. Not good. Not good. Anyway, I showered at night. <laughs> that helped. Um, but anyway, uh, let me figure out this bathroom. I wonder if I could do, t <laughs> should we do two sinks in this bathroom? Um, Okay, maybe. I think these look kind of weird when they're next to each other though. Um, let's try it. Um, okay. Oh gosh, there was eight of you sharing it. I'm thinking, so, at Dan's parents' house, the time they have like one bathroom downstairs as well. And when there's been times that I was there, it was like me, Dan, his sister, his brother, his sister-in-law, and his parents. <laughs> also seven people with the one downstairs bathroom. Um, that is, yeah, unpleasant. We've all, we've all been there, unfortunately. Yeah, that was really stinks. And that luckily was just temporary because they don't usually have that many people there. Um, but his brother and sister-in-law lived there for a long time, so. Um, okay. We can get some pretty curtains in here as well. Super normal though, yeah, definitely. Um, but, um, it doesn't make it less unpleasant as I'm sure you all know. Um, okay, I think, I like that. They're clipping with the window. Oh God, they are. 
Wait, no, no, it just looks like that. It just looks like that. Um, these curtains, because they're transparent, they just kind of do that sometimes. Um, okay. Uh, Cat Steampunk Kitty Shan, Marcin Spotlight, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Uh, this room is unpleasant. You think the window is glitchy? Yet, yeah, uh, it's not the window, it's the curtains. Why is there a giant window in the bathroom? Because it looked good there and it's The Sims. Um, yeah, Christine, my grandpa grew up without indoor plumbing. Um, indoor plumbing is a, also a life-changing experience. <laughs> but my grandpa also grew up without indoor plumbing. My grandpa grew up on a farm. Um, so, yeah, it's a- also it's a penthouse! No, you're right! No one- no one's coming up here. <laughs> no one can see. It's fine. Um, you- I promise you won't have any sims in here. Um, okay, I don't know if I like the, uh, two sinks anymore. We can go back to just one. That's okay, though. Um. Okay, I don't really, like, adore this. Maybe I can try and do the fake shower thing again. Um. Because then I can tr kind of try and make it fit my own vibes a little bit better. Shall I put it there? Yes, I shall. And then we can just get this item. Stunning, perfect, beautiful. I forgot a toilet. <laughs> oh no, I forgot a toilet. <laughs> okay, um. Chat, I think we need to uh, revisit this problem. Rich sims don't pee. I- I learned this from, uh, from Get Famous. Turns out that rich people don't actually need toilets. It's 100% factual. Um, yeah, they don't- they don't need them, so. You can just get rid of it, it's fine. <laughs> it's a- it's a well-known fact that the rich people, they don't pee. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, got that. Okay, but what about poop? Oh, they do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't like the thought of that. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't want to talk about it like that anymore. <laughs> okay, that's not a bad bathroom. Maybe if we had some sort of like, uh, nice bath mat. In like a pretty gray color. That's too dark. Maybe that color. Okay. Looks good to me. I can also get rid of this. Alright. I feel like that's coming along. It's actually not that big on the inside, so... I don't think it'll be that difficult to uh, furnish. You think some bathroom art? I guess we could try and get them some artwork on the walls. I really like that one from the fitness pack, but... That requires using a whole other pack. I just really like the vibes of this. Like that particular swatch I think looks so good. Um, I don't have a lot of space in here for decorations, but I could still use it. Do the same thing on this wall. I like that. I like that. It's only a painting, it's not so bad. That's true, it's only a painting. Plant is behind the door, where? What do you mean? Which world does this come with? This is with City Living, Polly. We're in um, San Myshuno right now. Do you recognize? There's like the art center, I'm on this lot. Hello, Claire. Okay. Claire, are you playing Among Us tomorrow? Will you be there? Okay. 
let's start decorating a little bit, shall we? I wanna try and get, I think I might do a glass table. Um, that was just there as a placeholder because I was trying to figure out like this scale. Um, but I feel like a glass table and then maybe some sort of like uh, pattern or something under it. Um, you will be, yay. Okay, I'm looking forward to it, Claire. This is exciting. Um, yeah, we're playing Among Us tomorrow with some of our Sims friends, by the way, in case you all did not know. I personally am very excited about it. Okay, I can't do as nice of a light as I would like to <laughs> uh, because I picked uh, ridiculously tall ceilings that don't fit anything. Oh, Beth, happy birthday almost. That's so exciting. Um, yeah, it is my brother's birthday tomorrow too. Fun stuff. I hope you have a lovely day. That's so exciting. This week's stream schedule is fire. No, so we have um, actually a lot of really fun stuff planned on stream this week. If you guys missed it, I posted the stream schedule uh, today in the Discord, but a um, couple exciting things. Number one, we're doing our own charity stream on Saturday, raising money for Able Gamers. So I'm gonna be live for a while on Saturday. Um, but also on Friday, um, kind of like kicking off like a charity weekend almost. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year we did this thing with Tiltify. Uh, they call it Claws My Cause, <laughs> uh, where basically they get a bunch of streamers to like go to other people's charity streams and then Tiltify donates a bunch of money and we like watch their reaction live. Um, so basically on Friday, we're gonna get to like load up somebody's stream and then Tiltify is gonna donate like last year, like thousands of dollars to their um, charity fundraisers that they were working on. Um, and then we get to see them be all excited, <laughs> basically. Um, so on that note, with that being said, if any of you are planning on doing a charity stream at any point, I know not all of you are streamers, but on the off chance that you are a streamer and you've been thinking about doing a charity stream, you were planning on doing a charity stream soon. Um, if you wanted to stream on Friday, let us know because I will write your name down and I'll make sure that, um, we, we pop over there. Um, but that's uh, that's the plan for Friday, which is gonna be super cool thanks to Tiltify. So um, I am very much looking forward to that. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, you can always DM one of the Simsy mods on Discord, um, anything like that, but that would be very, very good if you made sure you told us um, so that we can uh, make sure we get your name written down and I'll tell it to Tiltify, so that we can go over there. Um, but it was really fun last year. I even cut it down into a main channel video. So you might um, you might recognize it from that, but it was really cool. So, <laughs> uh, all right. I like that little dining room sort of vibe. I feel like it needs more, but I'll come back to it once I've like finished up this. I also kind of wanted to use more of the industrial loft kit stuff, but I'm really not like, I don't know. I'm really not feeling very industrial loft kit at the moment. We can use a few, like that thing is cool. That's not from the industrial loft kit though. Um, but that was, I kind of like set out with the intention of using that. And then like looking at some of these things, I don't really want to use them. <laughs> I might use these chairs though. Maybe this chair and the couch. But, um, yeah, we found some really cool streamers from it last year. It was really fun. Um, so I'm quite excited about the possibility of doing it again. I guess this one is pretty good as well. Depending on what sort of vibe we're going for. This ties in a little bit more of the wood. Can you recommend a streamer and where? If you know someone that's doing a, um, a charity stream, they have to be doing it on Friday evening Eastern time though, because it has to be when I'm live. Um, they're starting at like five o'clock Eastern time with the, the things on Friday. Um, so like with that disclaimer, uh, yeah, if you know someone who's gonna be live that's doing a charity stream for something that's important to you, let us know. Um, Cause we'll be on the hunt for streamers, so. Um, okay, I might try and make this dining room a little bit smaller. I love the industrial loft couch. I'm totally with you. It's one of my favorite couches in the whole game. Um, and that white couch is from the uh, Desert Lux kit. That was the kit they gave out for free for a while. 
Desert Lux kit flowers would be nice. Maybe, maybe. Um, the Desert Lux kit came with flowers. Are we... I don't think the Desert Lux kit came with flowers. Are you thinking of something else? Um, we can try and do some flowers or maybe like something um, really big. No, they didn't. Yeah, I didn't think so. Do you know what? We could get like a really big centerpiece on the table. Um, I could always like raise one up, you know? Um, it makes the middle seats unusable. <laughs> but we could always like... Uh, do our own sort of centerpiece that is like not meant to be a centerpiece because that way we can put it higher up that's got like a cool yellow to it i liked the white and pink though um that might be kind of a nice touch i don't know i feel like a house like this would have like a really interesting sort of fancy um like centerpiece on the table, so. We could always use <laughs> a zebra rug. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Let me look at the city living stuff. Um, this is one that we were looking at before. I don't really know how big I want it to be. I don't even know if I like the gray. I like the fuzziness of it though. I do like the fuzzy rug aspect to it. Um, I feel like that part is kind of cool. You like the pink though? Yeah, we can try and use some like pink and white accents places. Um, the industrial loft rug. Oh, um, I don't know if I want to use the, uh, I don't, I just, there's something about the industrial loft kit rug that I don't like the texture of, you know? I don't really know what it is, but there really is like something off about that industrial loft kit rug. This one is from City Living, this one that I just placed. Um, I'm trying to figure out like, if we go for this, like, slight pink accent, this is also, like, some cherry blossom stuff, but we could try and have some, like, pink accents with the gray. That might be kind of cool. So the inside is, like, gray, black, brown, and, like, a little bit of pink. <laughs> Just a little bit of pink. I might kind of like that. Because I think that looks really nice. And we can maybe get like a sort of, okay, well, one, I'm gonna wanna use like, I don't know, we'll wanna do like some cool accent walls places. Um, and we can do like a solid black accent wall. Like we can definitely get some kind of interesting things going on. Um, but maybe there could be like, along with some white accents and walls, we could do some like dusty pink. in at least a couple places, you know? I'll probably put a tile back here. Um, okay. I'm gonna wanna paint some of these a different color. Oh, I don't like it. I think this has potential though. Maybe I could do Another like black wall. I like the black wall in the entrance though. I think that's cool. Um, I don't know if I want to put brick on the inside. I don't like the look of the brick as much. I mean, we could, I guess, but the brick is like kind of a, I don't know. I don't know. It's possible, but I don't know what I like. But you see how this is kind of like dusty, this pink color? That's kind of what I was sort of going for. I don't know if I like that in the kitchen though, ew. 
<laughs> Ew. We can always put the pink on this wall. That might be cool. So two pink walls? You think brick on the wall in the fake lobby? I guess we could do a little bit of that. Monochrome brick. So I was using this brick because it's the brick that's on the outside. We could definitely do like a solid black brick or something, but I was just using that brick because it was the one that they have outside. So I'm kind of trying to match the um the exterior a little bit with the brick. Like that was kind of the whole intention behind using it. I don't know if I like the brick. We can do like this sort of cool tile. Maybe this should be white actually. Can you spot A? Um, spot A, spot A, spot A, spot A. Even like that one. I know it's kind of gray, but that might be nice. And then I could do my, I don't know, I kind of like the pink over there. It's like another little touch of the pink. We can do a black accent wall in this room. I don't know. This is harder than I thought it would be. No, it's not. I knew it was going to be hard. What am I saying? I'm no good at this. <laughs> I always struggle with this. Maybe I could use this, um... Oh, that's totally blocking the entrance. Maybe I could use this couch... in... this room. What do you think? It could be cool. This is like the lobby or whatever. So I'm not loving the gray on this, I don't think. But I need to tie in some gray because I've got like... Maybe, okay, hang on. So maybe if we're going to do the pink, the interior wood accents are not good. Maybe we should try and lean into the pink a little bit more as opposed to the wood. Although, now this isn't gonna work. Um, I feel like I've gone away from the like, industrial thing, and it's more like, I don't know, it's more like black and pink. I think I can do both the pink and the wood. You think it looks okay with the wood? I'm struggling with this wallpaper in particular. I think that it's the gray that's making it difficult to work with. And I don't like the white. Um, maybe a white kitchen? Oh, I'm trying to get away from white, M. There's like not a lot of white in here. Um, so I don't think that white is, is what we're trying to go for. Uh, Caroline, Titania, Violet, Ally, Tess, thank you all for the subs. Yeah, we'll put art in the lobby space too, madam. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, I wasn't even trying to furnish that, it just happened to work out that I wanted to put a couch in there. I don't like most of the pink options for the rugs either. They're not, like, dusty enough. I'd rather have there be subtle pink accents than, like, outright pink, like, rugs, you know? Um... I guess the Snowy Escape one might have something... That might work. Let me look at the snowy escape one. Because it has like this color. This is obviously not pink. But I feel like we can almost um, we could almost pass it off as pink when we tie it with in with everything else. Because it's kind of muted, I don't know. This might work. I can't pick it up again, help. But I think we could try and pass that off as pink, maybe. Okay. And then we can try and get some cool lighting as well. Um. You always thought it was pink? I always thought this was like beige. Um, I always thought it was more of a beige color. I guess depending on the context uh, of the room, it could like probably pass as either, you know? 
Um, like in this room, it's leaning a little bit more pink because we've got pink in here. Um, which is helping. I don't, it's, it's a little bit less blush than I would like it to be, but it can definitely lean that way. Um, oh my. I love the pink accents on that. I don't love the pink bottom. So I'm going to have to think about that. <laughs> I'm going to have to, um, we'll figure it out though. Don't worry. Is that floating? No. I do like that. Can I size it down? I don't think I've ever used this either, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> I, I can't think of a time that I've used this plant. It's certainly not indoors, so. Um. I wonder if I can make like a different fake base to it. I don't know with what, but I wonder if we can try and put like, this won't work, but you know what I might, we might try and like put a different, sort of, look, okay, so for example, imagine if I like, tried to put together like some sort of fake, marble table, <laughs> you know? Uh, it's clipping kind of weird, but just hold, hold on, hear me out, okay? Imagine if we tried to like, do our own surround on this. I'd probably scoot it over a little bit as well, put it in a different spot, but If there was something like that, you can't really... The Desert Lux end table? Oh, that might work. Hmm. Honestly, even if it had like a really subtle bit of pink, like a pink line, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's kind of okay, because it's subtle. It's not like the whole thing is pink now. I feel like before it was too much, but now it feels okay. Can I put it over here? I don't know. That's a slight touch. That plant in the lobby, please. There's no space for it in the lobby, Ziggy. I'm gonna try and put it in the house. Um, the lobby's really small, so. Curly, Hannah, and Danny, and Princess, thank you for the subs. Yeah, it's a slight pop of color, you know? It is making this lean more brown, though. <laughs> That's okay. Um, put it in a corner. So, Keontae, there's not a lot of corners. Let me just keep it here for now, and we can, we can see how it's looking, okay? Um, high school years, high school years. Does that really only come in like... This has a little bit of pink, but it's not really the vibes that I was going for. That's a little bit more glam than I was going for as well. Um, maybe we could do just like... Some of these lights. Something kind of fancy. I had the perfect couple to live in this penthouse, but now they're dead? Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that about your sims, that stinks. Um, may, may they rest in peace. Okay. Let me get a few more lights. Okay. Okay, this is going better than I thought it would. 
So typical of the Sims. I know, Sims always just die when you need them the most, huh? Okay, let's try and do some decor. Actually, I might go to Manage Worlds and then um, reload so we get debug off. That'll be better. No, it's not for the Bell family. I don't have any Sims in mind to live here. We're kind of just building it for fun. Oh, we don't have any Sims. We're just doing it because we wanted to make a penthouse. <laughs> um, I, I play with a lot, or I do a lot more building than I, I play with uh, new households. Um, as in, like, I, I build a lot more in The Sims than I could ever actually need houses, you know? Like, I, there's just no way I could ever get through um, as many houses as I build in this game. Um, oh, I almost wanna like, I guess I can let them place themselves there, right? Just two mugs is probably okay. In white. Okay. Mm. I have this, like, plate thing. There's so many- I'm using so many packs right now. It's getting a little bit ridiculous, honestly. The plates from Snowy Escape? Yeah, Snowy Escape has some plates. Um, I kind of like the idea of leaning into this, like, fake kitchen vibe a little bit more. Does this come in? Yes. We can use that. Forget the plates. Try this instead. <laughs> I feel like that's a nice touch with the pink. Um, and then maybe I could use different of these. I wonder if there's any bar stools that have like a slightly, uh, absolutely not. It needs to be either black or like a really dusty pinky color. That has a different wood than I would like to use, but I do like the color of the stools. Maybe I'll just use it. I don't know, sometimes you need to just not worry about the, uh, the wood tones being slightly off. If we just pretend that they're not, and we pretend that we did it on purpose, maybe we'll start to believe it. <laughs> the color of the legs is really bothering me, but if I just pretend that it's not bothering me, maybe it won't anymore. <laughs> Mia, love, Felicia, thank you for the subs. Oh no. Okay, I wanted to get the range hood. Which one should I use? Those are all bad. Hmm. We could put none and then just pretend there's one. Uh, I really need a fire alarm. I have learned um, that despite how fun I think it is to not have fire alarms, no spoilers chat, no one say anything. I have learned that despite how fun it is to not have fire alarms, I really probably should. I really probably should. And even then, sometimes it won't work. <laughs> even then, sometimes nothing can be done. <sighs> so. Anyway. I, I, we had a rough video today on YouTube. <laughs> Long story short, it was, it's been a rough day. <laughs> Are fire alarms functional inside cabinets? Oh, you think I should put it inside the cabinet? I guess I kind of liked putting it out so that I really knew it was there, you know? Uh, okay, that's fine. 
I don't know what rug to put. How is it a spoiler if you put it in the title? There's not a full spoiler. There's not the whole thing. You don't know what happened. Um. Okay. I don't know. No, shh. Shh. <laughs> you always hide your fire alarms if you even put one in. That makes sense, though. I think that makes sense. Um, maybe I could try, like, a full-on black rug. Maybe that would be better. As opposed to trying to have, like, a competing color. We could just make it be black. And then it can be small. What do you guys think about that? We had the gray one originally, but I think that that's, like, too light. It's almost too stark. The light color. Um. Hmm. I think it's okay. It's not a spoiler when you keep the fire toilet. Yeah, no one should be surprised. Have you seen my fire toilet? I mean, come on. <laughs> um. There's not really any good pink rugs, and we're trying to pretend that this rug is pink, so... Um. Hang on. Uh, let's see. This will be good. Little table. And then... I'm not loving this anymore. But I didn't like it in the corner. Because I didn't like it up against the... Pink. Let me try this. The color of this penthouse reminds you of a Bath and Body Works lotion? Huh. That's an interesting comparison. <laughs> Can I ask why, like, what Bath and Body Works lotion? I'm curious. You get that? Really? Which one? Should we do like... Oh, maybe that's too light. Keep the dark color. I like the dark color. I also like the bookshelf. Bookshelf is good. Cherry blossom? Oh, yeah, duh. Okay. Um... I still feel like it's like missing some things. I don't know, it's not there yet. But we'll get there, we'll figure it out. Is there even a light in this room? There wasn't. Okay, I also don't know what I wanna put over here. Maybe I could get a piano. Oh, it's probably a bit big. Yeah, it's a bit big. If I did it this way, it would fit better, but then I always get yelled at by musicians for doing it wrong. <laughs> so maybe I won't. It's a little bit big. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a bit tight, I'll admit. Chess table? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I want to put a chess table. I'm going to come back to that part, I think. I'm going to try to um, fill in the colors a little better. Desk? I was going to put a desk up here. Um, I was thinking, I might also get like a giant black painting. That's not really the vibes. I need it to be like, I mean, honestly, I don't like that it's got a white frame. But I do like the, the look of that. I wish that it had the black frame. There's only like one swatch that has a black frame. That's not as like pretty. I want it to be kind of pretty. This one has a little bit of pink in it. That might be okay. Oh, Desiree, thank you for saying that. I really appreciate that. Um. I also don't know about this. Maybe I make it black, it's better. I don't know. 
Yeah, there's a base game leaf painting, but it's like tall. Um, let me show you. City Living has some really big paintings too, but they aren't quite the right color. You're, they're talking about this one. This one is really pretty. Um, but I don't think that works for this wall because it. I need it to like... We could definitely use it there. And then I can get the desk that I wanted as well. Maybe I can keep the black and glass sort of vibe going. I could always use the, um, that's like slightly more pink than I want it to be, but we could always use that. Yeah, I like this base game one on the black wall. I think that that honestly looks really good on that wall right there. I like genuinely really like that. Um, like I think it looks cool on this small wall. Yeah, this is base game. It got added in an update like last year. Um, so it's, it's relatively new. It's not super new anymore, but it's relatively new. This is not the black swatch. Oh no, the black swatch is bad. I'll do the white one. The dream home decorator chair with the dusty pink. Yeah, I like that too, but, um, this is not it. That's gold though. I was just looking at that one. The dream home decorator one is really cute, but the wood is, um, the wood on it is like more brown. So we've kind of been struggling with that. Like the brown really bugs me. So that's true. And unlike some of the other base game art, it doesn't have a hideous frame. <laughs> that's a great way of describing it, Christine. <laughs> it does not have a hideous frame. Um, let me try and use this. I really like this with the pink. I think that's really cool and it's tall. So that's what I want. I, I really like that. I think that this little hallway is perfect. Doesn't even need to have that much. Also, this room is huge <laughs> and it's got like a private space. I mean, like seriously, this balcony and stuff. Um, okay. Um, let's see. I don't know. How do I want to space this out? I'm scaring myself with this one. I also don't know if I like that or not. I'm like kind of, I don't know. I'm looking at all these things and I'm like really not set on any of them. Does this have a lighter pink? No. Boo. This is bamboo. I don't like that either. That looks too similar to that. <laughs> but I could probably use this somewhere. It's from Spot A. I've used enough Spot A in this build to justify it, I think. Ah! I lost it. There. That's nice and tall. Okay. Um, we could get... the big curtains in this room. I'm not loving these windows in the front, but that's okay. That is okay. I do like the big curtains and I like them hung a little high, so. Um, uh, Jetfire, I'm just playing the Sims 2 soundtrack. Like it's not playing in the background of the game for real. Um, I am the one playing the Sims 2 soundtrack right now. So it's, it's playing like on my computer, basically. Um, Cause I wanted to listen to it. <laughs> I always play it in my streams. Um, Okay. Uh, Jinx and Roof, thank you for the subs. You think fireplace on balcony? We can see what fits. There's some kind of cool ones. I don't know which... Honestly, that might end up being really cool. They're like all black. Maybe. Is there black and white swatches on the decor of the Max wallpapers? Let me see. Um... There's like a white with some pink. 
That's a bit more dainty than I would like it to be. I don't know if I want to use... We could use that on one of the walls. <laughs> um, we could always paint, like, this is... Oh my god, all of that is, like, so dark. But what if we painted all of the walls black? In here. And then we tried to use, like, other colors. Oops. From... I don't know if I like that. Maybe I could do that downstairs. Like, maybe that would be better in the smaller room. You know? Um... Made one of the curtains a different color? Oh, did I? Yeah, I did. Do I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna keep it, but... Um... I think it looks good in the big room. Oh, do you? Well, do you want to try it down here just to see what we can pull off? And then if, if we don't like it, we can always put it back. I'm just kind of curious. I feel like... For the smaller room, I think I like this too. We can definitely try it. Your team big room? Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know. I'm being told a lot of different things right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna try this one and see what I can do with it, okay? Um, we want like a relatively big... I don't know. Hi, Kayla, how are you? What's up? I do kind of like the idea of a white bed, but not much is white in this house. So we gotta be relatively careful about that. Um. Why does the wood tone have to be like so brown? Hmm, I don't like that bed. <laughs> this is really difficult to pick because I'm being so picky about the color scheme. I mean, we have that pink. Wallpaper is hurting your eyes. Oh, is it? <laughs> I kind of like it. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, it's definitely different than, oh, because what we really need is extra pattern in there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We can get the fuzzy rug. Everyone's dreams. Do it in gray. I think this could work. B20, thank you for the sub, by the way. Um, anyway, this wallpaper is certainly something, okay? It's, it's very different than <laughs> what I would normally go for, but I think that's, that's almost what's fun about it. You know, because it's a little bit different. Um, do you think I can put a desk in front of the window? Oh my god, not that one. <laughs> I've used a little bit of snowy escapes. So this might work. Yeah, different is good. Different is good. I feel like none of the um, chairs are like as peachy as this is. This is almost like a peach that I'm trying to pretend is pink, you know? Ah, uh, scoot that over. 
Where's the rug from? Oh, that rug is from City Living. Sized up. I think we can make that beige pass as peach. Kind of like this. <laughs> um. Oh, really? You just finished building your Legacy Era penthouse? That's so funny. Yeah, I wanted to build a penthouse today because I was thinking about how I honestly haven't built a penthouse in like literally years. Like I, maybe I did one more recent than that, but I, I don't really build penthouses in this game very, ew, very often. Um, I just don't really think about them that much. So I thought it would be kind of fun to uh, try and do one today. Already dreading building a peach gen, not so very house. Yeah, I, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me for what I have done with this not so very business. <laughs> um, I thought that the gray one, honestly, was really difficult. More difficult than I, um, truly anticipated it would be. Uh, but Peach is gonna be a whole other beast, because we don't really have a lot of peachy stuff in the game. Yeah, who the heck chose those colors anyway? Yeah. Who's, whose dumb idea was it to write the Not So Berry Challenge? Oh look, those are the rules on, uh, lilslimy.tumblr.com? Hmm. Whoever this slimy girl is. <laughs> I've got, I'll, I'll have some words with her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not- I'm not sure about that slimy person. Um... I don't know. <laughs> uh, the not so very challenge, by the way, it's a- it's a legacy challenge that my friend Zoe and I wrote. Um... It was me, I, w I was slimy all along. <laughs> Old slimy is nothing but trouble, huh? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I kind of like this. Maybe if we got some cool, like... I don't know, I was gonna say peachy artwork, but we just talked about this and there's not really a lot of it. I want this to have like, um, no. I'd like it to be... Oh, that's so cute. Strangerville is really interesting. <laughs> There's some really interesting things that came in that pack. Like, you would not think that that cute poster came with Strangerville, of all things. Um, that doesn't work. Should get paintings off the gallery. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to make it work with what we have. I might try and use this. Um, I can always put that on the corner. And maybe I can try and make, uh, like a mirror thing work over here. Or, wait, I can put this on this wall. So it's not, I'm just trying to make it be spaced differently. And then we could do a big mirror thing on this wall. And there's some cool, like, fake decorative mirrors. But we could also get, like, I don't know, just one big wall mirror. Is this build for a legacy challenge? No, it's it's just for fun. Um, it's going a lot more difficult than I thought it would. I feel like that's okay. That definitely has the peachy vibes that I wanted it to. And then this room. <laughs> and then this room. I don't know. No vertical one? I didn't want to do a vertical mirror. I always do that crisis, so I was kind of trying to do something different. Um, like, kind of on purpose. Different than what I would normally pick, you know? What time is it there? Ah, uh, it's currently 6.30 in the evening, where I am right now. Um... All right, this is maybe a little bit more pink than I'm wanting it to be. This is a little bit dusty as well. Do you know what? This round one might work. And we could do like the black wall that I wanted. I can have the same pink. That kind of matches. 
My shell has made you cry five times now. Oh no, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sure Logitech would love to hear that the shell that I made for their sponsored video has made people cry five times. <laughs> I bet they would just be so pleased to hear that that's how the shell that I made for them has turned out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> no, all shell challenges have that effect on people sometimes. It's weird because because my worst nightmare could be your best one. And and vice versa, you know? Uh, your worst one could be my easiest one. It really ha- it, like, sometimes the inspiration is just not coming to you, and sometimes the idea that you're trying to make is just not working with the shell that we have, you know? Um, and so sometimes it just really does not work. <laughs> uh, and for that I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna try and make my own, like, little, uh, headboard. I have an idea. I wanted to use- I was gonna use these cool marble things downstairs, and then I didn't. So what if we use them up here to make like our own little headboard sort of vibe? And then I put the... Has the Aurora Shell made you cry? Yes, 19%. No, I love it, 19%. Haven't done it, 63%. <laughs> that checks out! So it's- it's a pretty solid half and half, um... Hate it and love it. So... Oh. I just got a message from Rochella. Literally just now. I hate you and your stupid square pillar thing. It's ruining my life. Uh, so you can file that one in the hate it category. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just now as we speak, she sends me a screenshot of the square pillar pillar in the middle of my dumb shell and says, I hate you and your stupid square pillar thing. It's ruining my life. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll take that as a, as a, uh, on the side of hating the shell. Oh my god, why? This is like the lowest the headboard's gonna get. How's the base game one? Even you? Really? I could raise it up. You probably wouldn't be able to tell. It, it looks like it's just got like a cool light under it. I feel like you honestly can't tell that much. <laughs> the seasons one kind of worked, but the seasons one, it was bothering me how its pillows were like raised up. It was a bit silly of me, but the pillows were bothering me. Um, we can do the seasons one though. Do you want to do it in black? We can do that. I like it. Um, I wonder if we could do like a really cool thing with the mirror. What do you guys think about something like this? Like big mirrors on the sides of the bed. Oh, I don't know if I like that. It's definitely a maybe. The other idea that I had was like if maybe one of these pictures from Vintage Glamour would look cool. I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas. That fits on there. You like the mirrors more? This is amazing. I don't know. I'm not sure what I like better. That looks good in here? Okay. I kind of like that, to be honest. That's too high up. Mm. I guess we could probably get away with this. It does fit there pretty well. I don't know. The red lip kind of throws it off. Yeah, the red lip is annoying. If it was pink, it would be perfect. But I don't get to use this picture very often, and it looks cool, so... 
Um, but anyway, uh, the feathery plant from Dream Home Decorator. Dream Home Decorator has good stuff for this. I hate that plant, by the way. There's something about it. I just, I, I like really can't get behind this trend. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm going to try and use it though. Cause this actually would look probably pretty good, um, in the house. Like this will probably work pretty well down here. But there's something about this plant that I like, I really just can't. You love it? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's definitely like a, a controversial plant. It's really like a love it or hate it kind of vibe. I think if you, if you're gonna use, like people have strong opinions about that plant basically. I feel like, you know? How does this look? I can use that small, but it's cute. Yeah, maybe. I think it's something about the texture. I think the texture of it kind of throws me off. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of it, but the texture of it, I just don't. I just don't like it. Does it come in any other color? No, all the plants always the same color. Um, I don't know. The texture just, I feel like it doesn't fit with The Sims 4 that well. But that's okay. That's okay. That's the beauty of it. You can like it and I can hate it and we can all still be friends. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's, it is funny how like you people have like really strong opinions about sort of silly things sometimes. Like I honestly have a really strong opinion about that item. I like really don't like it. <laughs> and you might feel the opposite. You might like actually love it. This is cool. This vintage glamour thing might work in here. Um, throw more texture to my look like Alpha CC though. I, I think the problem is that it's leaning too much like Alpha CC already. I think that's why I don't like it. And I, I, I should clarify that I don't dislike Alpha CC. I just don't use it in my game. So when Maxis makes things that don't look like other Maxis things, it's the same reason that I don't like when they put like English words on items. Um, like if they had like a poster, if this had like English on it instead of Simlish, I really wouldn't like it because it like, I feel like it doesn't match the vibes, <laughs> you know? So it really annoys me when they put like, um, I don't know. I hope that makes sense. Am I explaining myself well? Also, yeah, Kayla, this is kind of a sweater material. It's really soft. I really like this shirt. Um, okay. But yeah, so that I have anything against Alpha CC necessarily. It's just like, I, um, I don't use it, and when Maxis makes things that don't fit their own style, it kind of throws me off, but... Um, can you have it? <laughs> you can have this shirt. I can send you a link to it if you want. It's nice. It is nice. You probably can't have mine, though, because I like it. It's mine. You like the Rose Mouth? Well, that makes sense, though, Tweedle. That, that's why you like it better. Um, we all kind of just have different styles for it, you know? Um, I like that. The EA Sports shirt? No, don't even get me started. They added in an SDX drop last week a shirt that says EA Sports. I'm gonna quit this game. I'll quit. <laughs> how, how could you do that to me, Sims team? I thought I could trust, well, at the very least, I thought that you wouldn't put EA Sports in my game. I probably should clarify that I can't, I don't know if I can trust EA. Sims Team I feel better about, but EA, <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, yeah, and the back of it is Simlish. That's the like even more infuriating part is that like the back of it is in Simlish. So they did the front, it says EA Sports, and then the back is in Simlish. Why? Why? Oh my God. Oh, that's so cute. I actually kind of love that. Let me get them like a thermostat. Not a thermos, <laughs> a thermostat. There, they can change the temperature inside the room. 
but anyway, I was upset. <laughs> I was upset. Okay. This is, honestly, the upstairs I think is kind of alright. Let's see what we can do up here with the fireplace. I might actually try and use these. Did we get chairs? We have these chairs. These aren't exactly the same. But it will it will do for now. It will work. Right? That's kind of cool. I don't know. Pink swatch on the couch or chairs. I don't know how much pink I want to add outside. I think I'm leaning towards not wanting- uh oh. Okay, that's clipping less. Maybe I can put like, hang on chat, I'll figure it out. Maybe if we put like a big bush or something, <laughs> just to sort of hide it. Look, it, it's not clipping at all. Clipping, what, where? I don't see any clipping. I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> Just hide it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I don't think I like these chairs that much. Um, let me look at the other black swatches. Mushroom! No. Oh, do you know what I need before I forget? Sorry, I'm jumping around all over the place. But, I want to get, uh, lounge chairs. I really love the idea of lounge chairs right here by the pool. Wait. What is... Should I paint the pool black? Whoa! Should we paint the pool black, guys? I don't know. It's kind of cool. They're not gonna have a ladder. I've decided they don't get one. That's supposed to be black, by the way, that part right there. Um... So I use like black tile in there. Okay. This is growing on me. Um. Oh, put it too far over. That's a good sign. Um, okay. So this part is gonna be like majorly the back of the house just so you know like on the gallery the other side is the front so we can kind of get away with doing like maybe a couple weird things out here um for example i kind of want to give myself and i'll probably do a shorter wall but i kind of want to give myself like an outdoor kitchen kind of thing um maybe up against this because I can at least do a grill, I feel like. I've used enough of this pack already, I might as well put the grill out here. Oh, it doesn't come in all black? Okay, that's annoying. But then I could put the grill there. I need a shorter wall again. Um, but yeah, I kind of like the idea of a grill. It just, it's annoying because... Um... I don't know where to put, like, I was gonna put, like, an outdoor dining sort of thing over here. So maybe it would make more sense to have the grill out here. Maybe we can try and put a bar by the pool instead. Because this is more so, like, the outdoor dining vibes that I want. Yeah, this is better. And we can do the bar by the pool instead. Okay. Okay. Fireplace, maybe? Well, I put a fireplace upstairs. On the balcony upstairs. There's a lot of outdoor space. 
We have like a lot of outdoor space. Um, this one lights up. Ew! Sorry. Uh. Hate. 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 I want different of these, too. Um... Lounge chairs. I don't want the wedding pack ones. I do kind of like these ones. These are from Island Living. They almost look a little bit more... Like, comfortable. Instead of a bar, make a drink tray. Oh, I can do a drink tray. Oh, and you think the snowy escape bar stools? I guess those are nice. They're just like a nice black wood. You're missing a safety rail at the back of the bar? I mean, okay, yeah. I probably should put a safety rail. <laughs> we kind of had one before. I, I probably should continue it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> No, maybe I'll do a- uh, I, do you like the glass or should I do a wall? I think that's okay. Doesn't need to be anything too fancy. Um, glass? Okay, we like the glass then. Glass seems to be the serious winner. I want to put like a little plant out here. We use this one inside, but in the more pink swatch. We could use the more tropical one outside. No. I don't like it. I'm being very picky. Although I use this thing. That might be okay, just in the corner. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Should I put the bar, like... Hmm. I think it's just bothering me how the, there's not a lot of space. If I put it there, is, that might be okay. Looks nice on the side. Okay, the side I think is better too. Because it, I feel like it's like... I don't know, there's a nice view this way. Or I guess... Ugh. I would have it like there. Because then the, the people can sit... Use a drink stand instead of a bar. No, I like having the bar um, for the mixology skill thing. I know it takes up a bunch of space, but I feel like uh, it's it's practical to have a real bar. The building is huge anyway, so we can get away with having a real bar. Um, and then we could totally use the drink thing. This is what I was getting to before, and then I got distracted because I always get distracted, but... We could totally use both, you know? <laughs> like, if we wanted to have a drink tray and the bar... We could totally use both. Um, Scott, Samantha, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Um, all right. Do you guys like that? Oh, a stereo would be good too. No, I should use the spa day one because the spa day one I feel like fits a little bit better. Oh yeah, the colors of that are way better. And then we can get a stereo. Some lovely music. I've used so much Spade in this build. I could totally use like the Spade one. Because it would blend right in on the wall there, you know? Um. Uh. Do you know what? What if I did this with a different bar? Okay, a bigger bar. That one's a little bit big. But this way I could have it be like... I don't know, if it takes up more space intentionally. I wish we had a three tile one too, I know. But that way it fills in a lot of this wall. Not your rat almost unfollow me. Did your rat like walk across something and almost unfollow me? 
The idea of that is actually so funny. <laughs> you have to refollow because your rat unfollowed your stream. <laughs> Amazing. Honestly, iconic. Iconic. Um, okay. Uh, no, that's terrible. This is luxury party stuff. That's truly a bold choice. He walked on your screen, oh my gosh. I think I'd rather it be all black. These ones come in all black, Dream Home Decorator. That's kind of fancy. It looks like I'm hosting a party. You know, the Desert Lux one. Oh. Mm. I don't like love the, uh, oh. I don't like love the swatches on these. What do you guys think? It might be kind of cool though. Black wall speaker. I got one right here. There's a wall speaker here. I feel like I, I feel like I kind of like that. And it breaks up the dark colors. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Over here, I thought that we could put, you're gonna laugh at me. <laughs> Over here, I thought that we could put a trust table. <laughs> it Look, it's out of the way. Your Sims have to walk kind of a weird direction to get over here. It's a useful skill item. Can they get there? Yeah, they can walk through here. It's one tile. So they have to kind of scoot over there, but... Um, uh, I'm not liking... Oh, you know what? Better idea. You know the bubble blower from, <laughs> from City Living? Um, maybe we could use that. Because you don't really get to use, at least I don't use it that often. Um, that might be kind of a fun... It's called Bubbletron. Bubble Machine. That is the technical term. I'm just saying the name. Um... <laughs> right in front of the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a nice secluded bubble machine. Do you want to use these ugly chairs? Straight up leather chair. Do you want to use them? When else can you use those? It's kind of fun. Should I put three chairs or just two? Maybe just two. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. Okay. I'm liking this pool area, honestly. I feel like the outside is cool. We still need a little bit of the inside to get added to, but we're getting there. Um, so, in the grass... Okay, wait, out here, I wanted to put like a second outdoor dining table. Um. Should I use this one? This one's cool. No, it already has shade above it, so never mind. Um, but we'll get like another table out here. Does it not come in black? Oh, I guess it just comes in dark brown, that's okay. Um, we can just use a simple table. And maybe I could use those like I do like these chairs. Uh, are there glass tables? Well, I didn't want to use a glass table because I have a glass table right there. We can use a glass table. I was just kind of thinking that it might be fun to do something a little bit different. Because we had one like just through the... But we could totally do glass like... Um, it can just be like that, probably. The perfect patio table. 
Yeah, um, let me show. Perfect patio. This one's a lot longer. Although we could use the wood if we did this one. And we could get like the more wooden accents that we desired. That takes up a lot of space. Should I put it like right up against the edge? Or no, what do you think? Maybe just close to the edge so that there's a lot of space, but... And you know what? Maybe we could try and like just do four chairs, but kind of space them out. I feel like the six chairs is kind of a lot. I don't know. I'm struggling. No, that's boring with just four chairs. Go back. Six chairs. Yeah, six would be nice if you had a party. I guess I could just scoot it over a little bit. I don't know. I'm struggling with where to put it. Should we try and get some like, no, I don't want, really want that, but. Now that I'm using perfect patio, we could try and get like a little bit of. Additional greenery in a couple places. I don't know, that's kind of cool. That'll look cool from the front when we put it on the gallery anyway. Frankly, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, I feel like I... Maybe there's a reason I don't build penthouses yet. <laughs> I think that's what I've, I've uh, caught on to. Maybe there's a... A good reason that I haven't built one of these in a while. Although the real reason that I didn't build one in a while, uh, for a while, is because I was getting so irritated at how it was like jumping the camera a lot. And I haven't had that problem today, so... I'm not as angry anymore. <laughs> we haven't been having some weird jumping. Oh no, I forgot to read subs! Oh my god. Leah, YouTube, Bray, Scott, Samantha, Squiggle, Spacey, Lizling, KK, Laura, K, K and Watkins, and Pally, and Alchemist, and Sauron, Honey, and Jay, Baitlin, and no, no, GJ, Aisha, I'm so sorry, thank you for the subs, oh my god, I got so, oops, I got so distracted by the build, I totally forgot to read them, I'm so sorry, I am so, so, so sorry, um, okay, what can we add out here into the grass? You think a telescope? I'd put a telescope. I was just in the zone. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was really in the zone. How about this? Look at this on the gallery. Whoa. No, I won't do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just so tempting. <laughs> it really just is so tempting. No, we'll put that over there. I feel like um, on this grassy space that is accessible to my Sims, I really feel like I owe them like a, a little bit of a wall. I'm not sure if it should be like a wall wall or, or what, but I... <sighs> I, I do feel as though maybe there should be a, a bit of a wall. We can try and paint it like a cool color maybe. But I just, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of running the risk of them falling off and dying. You know? Maybe I'll make it a little bit lower than that. This height's okay. Um, swing set? Oh my god. <laughs> if we put a swing set out here, could you imagine? I put it like right near the edge. Swing and back and forth. <laughs> right off the edge of the building. <laughs> That's bad. I don't think we can do that. I don't think we can do that. Um... I don't know, what else would you add? That makes me feel anxious. <laughs> the thought of a swing set up here. Um, I'm trying to figure out... P 
pond. Oh my god, my like shark pond maybe. I feel like I should do some more landscaping. Uh, maybe right here. Oh, that is so annoying. But I can do maybe a little bit more landscaping here in the front, just to have like, I don't know, like a little bit more um, texture, maybe an outdoor hot tub. Oh, a hot tub would have been cool. Do you think that I, I may, it's too late to go in and do a hot tub or can I do one? Cause That would be a really cool touch. What if it was up here? Like, or I guess where would it, okay, where would the hot tub go on the roof that sort of makes sense? Should I like, What, do I continue it out or something? Do we, what, do it like that? I don't know, that's too big. Or can it just be on the grass? Is it okay if it's on the grass? What if there was like, um? I think it's from Get Together. Does this come in black? Okay, maybe I could make like a couple little stepping stones. like on purpose to make a bit of a fake pathway to it. Okay, that looks good. That looks cool, I think. And then we could do like, I don't know, I guess I'm just trying to think of like a couple little extra decorative sorts of things, like a couple extra little plants and stuff to like blend it in a bit better. Ew, stay that color. Yeah, we can add some floor lights as well. Um, we're gonna really need to go in and do lights, I think. <laughs> um, I feel like this is really out of place over here. So maybe I'll put this up here on the balcony. I don't know, I just felt like it was kind of in a random spot, like in the middle of the grass. Maybe it makes more sense on the balcony. Um, and then I want like that little tiny light from the kit. Tiny spot of light. And I can have these follow the... Oh, great. I guess it's fine if it's on top of the light, right? <laughs> we can leave the light there though, because then we'll know it's there. What apartment is this? It's not actually an apartment, Ava. It's the penthouse, um, it's kind of, if you look in the like San Machino map, it's kind of nearby to the arts center, if that helps. Um, don't think the pool and hot tub should be next to each other. Well, can't say sure they probably should, but I don't think the hot tub would fit over here and it fits over here, so. Um, that's the beauty of the Sims, right? We can kind of put anything anywhere. <laughs> we aren't really stuck with um, what, maybe makes the most sense plumbing wise, <laughs> right? Like we can kind of just do whatever we want. Um, your Sims are gonna have to swim around a lot to get where they wanna go, sorry. Um, so sorry. I didn't finish the inside. Also, no, Helga, uh, I don't think you can use terrain paint with apartments. 
because I'm pretty sure that you can't do any terrain paint at all. Like what I've got over here is not terrain paint. It's just like the grass uh, flooring, basically. Um, so I, I don't think that you can do terrain paint because it's not terrain, because it's like on top of the building, you know? Um, so I, I'm not sure that you can do the terrain paint up here. I, I mean, that makes sense, right? <laughs> Honestly, I'm impressed that it let me put, um, like I'm, I'm really impressed that it let me have a uh, pool, so. Should I try and put these up close to it? Like what? The plumbing in The Sims 4 keeps you up at night. <laughs> Does it? I'm, I'm sorry that uh, it, it alarms you that much. The house below the pool. Yeah, look, sorry to these people in this unit. Um, <laughs> not my problem, though. <laughs> no, these don't light up as much as I wanted them to. I think it's okay, though. It kind of shines on the bottom of the building a little bit, which is okay. Yeah, sucks to be them, I guess. Whatever. Not my problem. That looks nice. I think it just, honestly, I think it just seems like it's not lighting it up that much because, um, it's on a black wall. <laughs> honestly, I feel like the, um, it's in our heads that it's not that lit up because it's on a black wall. You know what I mean? Okay, uh... That's cool. Can I put this, like... Oh, it is nice that it slots onto there. Just the pool maintenance floor. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> that floor is just our pool maintenance floor. Um... Have I made a Sims 3 shell challenge before? Oh my goodness. No, I haven't done a Sims 3 shell challenge. Uh, I think it would be a lot harder to pull off in The Sims 3 than it is to pull off in The Sims 4, unfortunately. Because um, The Sims 4 has the gallery and stuff like that. Um, the Sims 3 is a lot more annoying to download builds in. Um, which I think would make it kind of difficult to do that, you know? So I haven't ever done one of The Sims 3. Um... Use the spotlights from Get Famous. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll put a ceiling fan over here. We do have one that came with uh, the kit. I can center it there. That might be kind of nice. Um, okay, well, I've sort of ruined the vibes by... Um, deleting some of the stuff, but maybe I could put the couches. Should I do the couches like this and then have a coffee table? Cause if I did it like this, we could probably have like one of the drink trays up here. That might be better. I don't know. Yeah, we could do it like that. Then there's more space. And this is kind of snuck in the corner so it can still be used. Okay, okay, so we got to figure out this room now. <laughs> I haven't finished this room yet. I allowed myself to stop worrying about it because it was stressing me out, but uh, needs a little color. What, on the outside? Maybe. I kind of liked how it looked, though. Um, mm, this can be like a gray. And then I want to get the timeout room. No, this is, um, <laughs> this, this room is supposed to be like, this is, okay, well, it's not supposed to be. It is, uh, the room that your Sims come into when they first enter the apartment. Um, oh, it's very dark. I want to use this couch so bad. Um, but basically in, uh, in the pack, oh, Oh, it's very tight. But in the pack, in these uh, penthouses, essentially your sim will like load uh, into the penthouse 
Um, I don't know if they can get to that, but they can try. But they load into the penthouse, and then, um, like, the, the mailman and the pizza delivery person and that sort of thing will come into the elevator. Like, they'll spawn in front of the elevator. And so I'm basically making, like, a lobby outside of our apartment, and this is our front door. If that makes sense. Um, and then this is, like, the space that we actually own. So, that's the idea. Ian, and Grim, and Hales, and Bo, and Leah, and YouTube, thank you all for the subs. Um, alright, that's making me feel a bit better. Maybe, wait a minute, this might be better. If we did it, like... Okay. Same old rug, but rotated this way for more space. What do you think? Is that better? Is it better or is it worse? Is it better when it closer to the windows? I think it liked I think it liked better before. I think it was better like this. I got a little ahead of myself with that. Um put the garbage by the dining table. Oh, I guess we could put the garbage inside of the apartment. <laughs> We could have the garbage chute over here. Uh, who says the garbage has to be out there? Uh, the mail can stay out here, but the garbage could be like in the kitchen. That's like the main trash can for the lot. That makes way more sense. That's way easier for the Sims anyway. So that's probably better. Um, I'm feeling unsure about this thing still. <laughs> I really wanted to use this thing, but I'm really also very unsure about it. Um, I kind of want, like, something taller over here. You know, like, the giant bookshelf? I wonder if I could size it down. Is it from Seasons? Yeah, like, that is nice and tall and kind of fills the space. I don't know if I can bring myself to use this thing, guys. I really tried. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I really can't. I just can't bring myself to like it. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. This one is from Eco Lifestyle. That has a little bit of wood. There's not a lot of wood over here, so that might help. Maybe I could get another one of these thermostats and put it on this wall. Okay. This whole space feels a bit empty. Maybe it's okay though. It's a uggo! Oh my god, I'm with you though. As we were talking about this earlier, there's something about the texture of it that I really just can't deal with. Um, okay, can I do like a cool chair thing? I don't really know what exactly I'm going for, <laughs> but I, I want to do like a... Ooh! Do you know what? That might work. Yeah, Marisa, I'm getting kind of close to finishing the build, so I thought we'd just stay on until we finished it. Um, I am still live. <laughs> I don't know if I like the pink rugs. I do like the idea of a rug. Ugh. I think those chairs are good. I like the vibes. It has like a little bit of, um, like just a little bit of the, the color that we need. So, I guess I could put the plant back where I originally had it, like over here. Favorite pack out of all of them, Jordan? I think uh, I would probably say Seasons. Yeah, we tried the piano. That was like one of the first things that we tried and it seemed like it was a little bit too tight. Um, it was, it, the space was like not quite big enough to, ooh. I didn't center the chairs right. Um, yeah, it just, it felt like it was not quite enough space for the piano. We could do a really big bookshelf, like the one from City Living. Um, 
one of my best modern builds ever. Do you really think so? Honest? That makes me feel really a lot better about it. <laughs> I'm not, I don't feel like I'm that good at building modern builds, but I, I think this one is, um, is kind of cool. So I'm glad that you think that. What happened to the mirror? I deleted it. I wasn't really liking how it looked. Um, do you guys want to try and use one of these again? Because I did really like this. This is kind of, this was the color scheme inspiration for the whole build, so. I don't like this. I'm really trying to use this. I feel like I've tried everywhere for this plant and I just can't, I just can't get it. I don't know. I just, I feel like I just can't make it, make it work. I wanted to, I really did want to. Should I use this mirror again down here? Oh, that's a little bit tight. Um, we could get a coat rack. Ew. Brown? Really? No. Hanging plant from the plant kit in the pink color. Oh. You know what? I think you're onto something with that. I could probably even use it full size. What do you think about it being full size? I feel like that kind of works. And then if we did like a, honestly that mirror. Oh, I guess that can be pink too. I don't know. It's kind of all right, to be honest. I feel like it ties together pretty well. <laughs> if we're gonna use the little plant, I might as well give myself some more of a... <laughs> like if we're gonna go in and use the, the plant kit, I might as well let myself have more. Um, maybe I'll put it up there. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Jack, thank you for the three months. Okay. Uh, probably not a mirror. There's like some kind of cute city living decor. Oh, that was a bit larger than I remembered. <laughs> Maybe I've only ever used it size down. That felt a bit bigger than I thought. We can add that in. Uh, and then maybe like... Honestly, this kind of has some cool pink and it's like small. Should I add that in or am I being silly? Could probably make it work in here behind the plant because that's pretty. Um, I feel like this is okay. Do you guys think it could be done? What do you think? Black and white paint on top of the bookshelf? I guess I could use this one that I was using elsewhere. Oh, <laughs> I put it right there. No, you can't use that again, Kayla. I'm so predictable. How about this? It's kind of purple, but with the other pink it might. I don't want to add in like too much, you know? You think an easel? I wonder if I could fit like this one kind of small in the corner. Does it come in white? It comes in gray. So I think that might be a fun, because then there's like one other gameplay thing. I don't really want to put a ton of stuff on the grass because I feel like the grass is kind of like I don't know, I feel like the grass is kind of pristine on purpose because that's like the kind of people that would live here would have very pristine grass and not like a ton on it. Um, what do you want to call it? I feel like the mirror and the rabbit pick don't match. Oh, do you not like them? I kind of liked them. Bonsai tree? Oh! What if we 
did that because that's another gameplay item. I always forget about this um, because we used to not have any swatches to it. So it used to only have like that horrible red wood. It used to only be that. So I used to never want to use it, but then they added swatches to it and now it's like better. That's good. Um. All right, what do you want to call it? Um, I'll add in to replace the fountain view penthouse lot in San Myshuno. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, three bathrooms. Cherry blossom penthouse. Oh, that's kind of cute. Black pink penthouse. <laughs> <laughs> if I could if I could think of one word to describe this penthouse, I think it would be black pink. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, but you're right. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think cherry blossom is cute though. Cherry, I don't know. We'll we will know deep in our heart that it's black pink. <laughs> um cherry blossom penthouse. I like it. Hashtag Lil Simsy. There you go. All right, I'll stick that on the gallery. Oh my god, I shouldn't. I should have saved before I did this. It's one hundred and nineteen thousand. Oh, it's two bedrooms. It's only two bedrooms. Um, well, there. That's on the gallery for you if you wanted to download it. <laughs> um, I'm probably gonna get off stream here now that I finish the build. I'm really happy with this one. I think it turned out really pretty. I don't really build stuff like this very often. I also don't really build penthouses, like, ever, so it's kind of fun to, um, to do one from time to time. I like the floor plan a lot. I feel like the floor plan flows really nicely. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so tomorrow, tomorrow, we're gonna play Among Us with some Sims friends of ours. Um, and I was originally, I think my stream for Wednesday might change from the schedule that I posted in my Discord. Um, because of like a weird sponsor thing. Sometimes people like want to redo the days. So I might have to change the schedule around for later this week. But tomorrow we're going to play Among Us on stream with some Sims friends. That's definitely happening. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, Undead and TM and Daniel and Jackie, thank you for the subs. Let me go see who all is live and I will find someone to raid. No, it wasn't like for a challenge, 16 Rose. It was just a build. Um, we just were wanted to build a penthouse. <laughs> Building a penthouse is kind of a challenge in itself though. <laughs> Um, I will say that. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, where should we go and say hi to? You know what? I know, I think we raided my friend Claire last week. I forget what day. All the days kind of blur together. Um, but my friend Claire is building a Christmas cottage. And I kind of want to watch it. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at this, like, she seems to be just starting, but I'm looking at this picture and I'm like, oh, that looks cute. That sounds like fun. <laughs> so I might, I might want to go over there. What was it? What was Claire building the other day that we went over? Oh, Claire, when we last raided Claire, I think she was building Minnie Mouse's house from Disney Dreamlight Valley, which I was really excited about. And now we're making a Christmas cottage. You can't go wrong. <laughs> uh, but let's go say hi to Claire. I'll catch you all tomorrow. Claire's actually gonna be playing Among Us with us tomorrow, so um, you can get a chance to meet her. I don't know if she's gonna be there the whole time because I know she has work, so she might come in late, but um, it'll be fun. We'll say hi to Claire today and then we'll hang out with Claire for real tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, everybody have a great, great, great rest of your night. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out. I really enjoyed the build today. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Good night, everyone. I love you. I miss you already. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> and stop streaming.